Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Let's wait for the webcam to do its magic. Bam. There we go. Um, and let's hide the text. So here I am back at it. Back at it with this little car of mine. Hopefully this is going to be the last last stream with, with this particular uh, 3D modeling session. But then we're gonna do some some other stuff, other cool stuff. So there's gonna be more streams involved later down the line. But for now, um, actually there's only like five people watching. So let me let's. Uh, Shall we play a game now, or should we play a game later? Maybe later. I'll just start modeling, and then once we have at least like, I don't know, 20-ish people watching, then I will make sure that everyone leaves <laughs> as I start playing some, some video game. You'll see, you'll see. It's gonna be a fun one as well, with, with a little bit of, of interaction with the chat. Um, let me make all of these adjustments here. Let me close that, that, come on, close that, that, and let's take a look at what we have. So I did one thing off stream, sorry, um, just couldn't help myself. I was looking at these panels and uh, how all of the panels worked and I really didn't like the top one uh, how, uh, or the front front side here so I just equalized the the line here so that it's it's kind of horizontal uh, other than that this is yeah it is the same as what we've seen uh, what we've seen in the last stream I will immediately jump in and then start messing around with it so where do we well let, let's begin with the front right so so the front is still uh, just a blobby mess here in, inside i kind of want to have a little bit more of a of a, of a detailing here so i'm going to actually take that edge and kind of move it up up until here i think that that's gonna look nice uh, yep, it's fine. That's that's kind of crisp. That's okay. And perhaps uh, take this edge right here and move it down like so, so that we have this uh, the seam here going on. So we have like two seams. Uh, those will be solved later. Basically, these two polygons, right? I wanna. I want to work around with them. So they are flat, that's good. And I kind of want to extrude them in. So let me just grab a clipping plane so that I can see what the hell am I doing. Bam, like that. And just to make sure, yep, yeah, that, that seems good. Yeah, that's fine. So these, these two, I think we, what we're going to do with them is, hello, welcome, <laughs> hi, hi, um, what we're going to do with them is we'll hit them with a sub D uh, inset, group mode, and just like five millimeter inset, that didn't work at all, we try again, from this point, five millimeters please, enter, there we go. So we have this inset going on and I will select both of these and just simply sub D extrude. Uh, that's not a word uh, or a command. Extrude sub D, there we go. Along the X direction, please. Um, and I'll extrude them quite a bit, I think. Uh, I'll extrude them by like... Uh, a meter, uh, maybe not a meter, maybe like 400 millimeters, something like that, yeah. That should, that should be fine. Let's hit it with a smooth. Um, so that's what we get. And I know it doesn't look like much, but I think we will be able to kind of salvage the, 
the look by just hitting it with a, with a chamfer on these edges here. Uh, I keep saying chamfer, it's not chamfer, it's, it's a bevel. So I'll just hit it with a bevel and I'll just give it, I don't know, five millimeters again. Okay, now it's getting getting smoother, uh, not smoother. Come on, uh, it's getting uh, sharper. That's good, but we want it even sharper than that. So I am thinking I've con I'm contemplating of beveling this edge, but maybe it might be a little bit too much. So what if instead we bevel this? this whole loop and just with like two millimeters to something like that oh mm, that's a little bit too sharp for my taste i think before it looked better yeah it looks better so we'll keep it we'll keep it as it is um this inside here could use some love so i will actually delete those two polygons and build up. I really hate Ungon, so I will build up uh, three quads instead of one Ungon. One in the top, one in the bottom, and one in between. Of course, I miss it. Last point, and I just completely miss it and I can't select it now Jesus <laughs> um, let's try Control shift click and then just guess because there's no indication okay there we go um, so once we've done that I can select all of this and just join it up smooth hit tab um, for some reason, this is treated like a crease. Why? I don't want it. Uh, remove crease from, from here and here. No changes made, huh? So this tells me that this polygon right here that we have Is, is a separated polygon and why is that and that is because yeah okay fair enough that's because we need two right do most complex uh 3d models take this long uh no not at all definitely not well it depends it depends um if you are doing um a model for production, then yeah, they take even, even longer, right? If, if, if it's something that's going to be manufactured, then for sure, they, they take like months to do properly um, and, and to polish out all of the details. Um, but if it's just something for um, visuals, for instance, or for 3D printing, then no, they, they don't take that long. Uh, flip it around. Uh, but I... This is the first time that I'm using SubD tools, right? So yes, it was a, a long journey of, of me just fiddling with them. Yeah, now that looks good. That's fine. Uh, it's a long journey of me just fiddling with the tools and, and seeing what works, what doesn't work. Um, right, so that, that's, that's why it, it takes so long. Do we have an N-Gon here? Feels like we have an ungone, but maybe we don't. Maybe this is just one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. So that's just a very twisted corner. That's all about it. That's that's around it. What what I want to do with the front, actually. Like the front is cool, I think. Like it has the pokey hole there and it has all of the cool, cool stuff. Hi, Shazley. Uh, it has all of the cool stuff, so I don't know. I'll keep it. I'll keep it as it is. Um, if I had to do this car again, like from scratch, 
I could probably do it in three hours. The tires took, <laughs> took some time to do, but yeah, I, I like how they came out. I think they, they, they're kind of well integrated. They're like bicycle tires as well, uh, but my logic is that um, here we are not doing a, a, a riding car, right? A, a car that just rides on the street. These tires are used for landing and to basically push the car into a parking lot or, or parking garage or what whatnot. But basically the car itself is a flying car, right? So we don't need uh, good wheels, good tires. How far am I planning to take this model? Uh, not that far from, from here. Uh, I'm gonna make some adjustments, I'll add some details. And once that is done, uh, that's done, right? Uh, I'll, I'll just call it, call it a day then. Um, what I am going to do with it though, ap after I'm finished, I am going to... Maybe we mess around with this. I am going to... What am I going to do? <laughs> I'm going to 3D render it. So I'm going to make a pretty fancy um, um, texture for it, uh, for, for rendering purposes. And also I'm going to 3D print it. And uh, once it's 3D printed, I'm going to hand paint it and uh, probably make like five or maybe 10 of them and uh, do certain amount of giveaways to either Patreon supporters or members, uh, YouTube members of the channel, um, just as my appreciation, right? So it, it's going to be like a, a raffle, uh, I think that's the word, a raffle of me just giving away stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna build it. I really wanted to CNC mill this out, out of wood, but now all of the shops uh, are closed um, because of COVID, so I, I can't, unfortunately. Or maybe wire, eh, we'll see, we'll see. Once everything opens up again, then, then I'll, I'll take a closer look, closer gander at what can be done. So. Right now I'm just talking and I'm not explaining what what the hell is it that I'm doing. Uh, basically, the car, the car design is bottom heavy here. There's a lot of mass involved here. And I want all of the mass to be kind of transferred to the, visually, mass to be transferred to the front of the car. So I'm going to make an uh, indent here in hopes that it's going to kind of redu reduce the volume in the back of the car. Um, I do have a lot of meat here inside, so it should be fine. So I have inserted a group of polygons, all of these, and these will get um, extrusion. And the extrusion, by the way, McNeil, if you're watching, when I do extrude sub D, I really don't want to see the whole wireframe of my mall. It's not great, a not great experience. Just, you know, please, please don't. Um, so let's try minus, uh, minus 10 is one centimeter. Let's try minus 10 centimeters, minus 100. Uh, something like that. And it's going to mess up in uh, quite a bit in, in certain cases especially here, but uh, we will, we will manage, we will manage. Oof, that, that's a, that's an ugly extrude. Okay, let's see how we can, how we can solve this. So this extrudes quite well. This also extrudes quite well. Uh, this polygon though, it's not great. So I'm thinking of maybe Hmm, that one's fine. So what if we just kind of move it in like so, just like that, perhaps rotating it to release tension a bit and just working with it from there. 
Actually, that should do the trick, right? So this one also needs to move in because it's it's a little bit too twisty right now. So this moves in even further and maybe it gets flattened out. So let's flatten it out to zero like that. So it does, does, a, does a thing and we just move it forward. And now it should be clean. Well, kind of clean. Clean uh, with an asterisk. That oh, everything else is fine. It, let's hit tab. So we have a, I don't know how to call it. Inset, not inset. We have pushed in some stuff. Um, what does chat say? Chat says, still needs to be able to turn left and right, no? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. No, I'm a, I'm a professional here. <laughs> Wait, but if it's a if it's a tricycle, if it's a tricycle, and this wheel is able to move back compared to this wheel, right? So if if, if we have like two wheels and if we look at them from the plan and one of them can or both of them can move back and forth it should be able to turn right kind of technically no magnets the answer is magnets shut up i know what i'm doing <laughs> oh man I'm an architect, by the way, not not a, not a designer, uh, definitely not a car designer. Um, we will need to do some chamfering here, that's for sure. Um, so that also zooming is becoming a little bit tricky. Um, <laughs> Could you please give me one of your video link uh, on topology for beginners? This is the topology for beginners. <laughs> That's the only one that I have, man. Um, let's do let's do a chamfer. No, a bevel. When in doubt, do a bevel. With ooh, in doubt, that's a little bit big. A five millimeter bevel, and it breaks. Completely breaks. But maybe we, I, I think we can fix it. Because this just, if it moves in. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we can fix it. We can fix this. We can, we can make this work. Um, so basically, I just need. Oh my God, this is going to be super manual. So this needs to be somewhere closer to here. Ooh. That's that's bad. That's that's really bad. Mm, okay, let's move this move this up then. Okay, and now move it out. Okay, okay, that's that's good. That's that's fine. That works. Quad quad triangle. That's okay. Triangle quad quad bevel. Sharpens out okay. We even have a seam there, which is nice. Okay, that I, I think that's that that's gonna look look fine. Uh, let's let's just double check. I just need to check it with uh, the fluorescent tube to see. Um, go away edges. That's a little bit too sharp for my taste. So which one is that? Okay, that goes there. Okay. Emap, go away. So it's that point right there. That is being a dick. So let us grab all of these and do our best 
Or actually, maybe we can just slide that point down and it's gonna work. Yeah, let's let's try that. So that point slide uh, will slide down. Will slide down. Okay, not across, along. Doesn't slide, okay. That's fine. We just grab it then and move it to the midpoint here, hopefully. Still pretty damn sharp, but now at least we have a little bit of breathing room to work with. So now I can, yeah, okay, so that, that starts solving it. And now we, all we need to do is just take these two points and move them to here. Yeah, cool. Okay, so that, that, that's solved. That's, that one is solved. That, all of that is fine. Not sure about this. Well, actually it softens out quite nicely, so I won't, I won't mess around with it too much. That's good. That's good. And then this, yeah, that's way too soft. No, 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 I don't like, I don't like that, that kind of softness. So let me bevel, bevel that. Uh, but actually I'll give it like a pretty generous uh, one centimeter bevel here. Oh shit. So you're gonna do that to me, huh? Okay, fine. If you're doing that to me, then I am going to do... I am going to do this to you then. From here to here. Wait, are we in the correct line? Yeah, we are in the correct line. That's good. Okay, that's good. That's fine. That is fine. So we do a pokey, pokey hole. <laughs> uh, don't snap, please. Just be normal. Yep, and it goes back up. That's good. The edge flow is working with us, not against us. <clears throat> So, um, I guess I need to do a topology tutorial, right? People keep asking for it, so I'm thinking of doing one. Um, the, the thing is, okay, the main thing is, for, for, for any kind of topology, optimization, or not, not optimization, that's a really bad way of saying it, uh, for any kind of topology work, you want quads, so you want as to, to keep to keep it as uh, every patch as a, or every face as a rectangular face for as long as possible. Said that, here I have a shit ton of n-gons and a shit ton of uh, a shit ton of triangles as well. Uh, for instance, this guy right here is definitely not a quad, right? It's it's an n-gon. Uh, but at, this happens at the last stages during detailing, but once you, st once you just work with uh, the form itself, uh, you should always kind of try to insert edge loops where you need them and always try for, uh, always try for uh, uh, quads. Come on. Inset distance, five, yes, five. Click, enter, okay. Took a while for it to understand what I want from it, but now it works. Okay, so we reduced the, the weight of the car quite a bit by, by doing this. Um, I think that looks fine, right? Yeah, I think that looks fine. We can even kind of go uh, one step further and select these faces right here. Or maybe not like that, but rather, hmm, let's think. Now, uh, we do, we do this, uh, I, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Right now I'm just kind of inventing details, 
right? Uh, just just thinking about how can I add um, nicer details to the to the vehicle, and uh, in like five minutes I will show you how we add pipes and crap like that to the car wiring pipes and so on because I do want to have some pipes here so let us take this and let us uh, do the sub D inset on it uh, my favorite tool sub D inset enter to continue yes 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 um, Again, shows me all of the edges. I don't want to see all of the edges. I don't know why. Malone <laughs> Gerdeta. Um, so I will... I th hmm. What kind of angle, not angle, what kind of di uh, distance do we want for this? It's a shame that I can't really see what kind of distance I'm I'm I'm, I'm giving it. Uh, let's try ten. So that ten is a bit too too shallow. Let's try twenty instead. Or no, let's try uh, let's do ten. I have a plan, and that plan is uh, to have a variable inset where we kind of. Select this edge loop here. That's not a loop. What am I saying? So just selecting these edges here and sliding them. Let's see if they slide properly along the other direction and just slide them to somewhere like here so that we have this kind of a very narrow uh, very narrow set of polygons and now with this set I think we can kind of move it uh, move it up right or extrude it up extrude sub D along the Z direction and I'm not gonna, I'm gonna give it a lot I'm just gonna give it like one centimeter hit tab to check how it looks like so we made a groove there. Uh, so there's a groove going on and it's it's fine. It's it's kind of messing up there though. So I need to fix it. Um, let's see, how can we fix this? Perhaps we, we fix it by not fixing it, but instead by moving it away from our problems. There we go. So if we move stuff away, then it's better but Be kind of better it's not as bad uh, okay of course webcam is messing up come on webcam don't don't be a dick today it's fine if I need to I'll just change the battery it's gonna be okay um, we need a bevel for, for those two edges there, um, five centimeter one again, so that it kind of gets sharpened out there. That's fine. Um, and also a bevel there as well, right? So there, uh, bam. ZS to zoom in to the selection so that it's easier to kind of figure out what the hell am I doing. Um, right, so that's a bevel as well. So it's just a small groove, but I think it's gonna give a nice little, uh, you know, nice little detail there. All right. Um, time to reflect. Skip out, reflect. Bam, zero, holding down the shift key, um, and I want to keep the left hand side. So now it, everything gets mirrored to the other side, which is nice. And that's how it looks. Let's hit it with an E map. Yeah, I think that was a good idea. Like adding that that line there, then 
all of that there i think that that's a that's a pretty good idea i'm happy with that and we effectively reduced the weight of the car so there is a seam here like a not a seam a bend here but i i kind of like that bend i don't want to ditch it but perhaps one thing that we could do Uh, I don't want to ditch it here, but I kind of don't want it around here. So one thing that we could do is we could take these polygons, these three polygons, and hit it, hit them with a... Uh, well, they are quite twisted. I'm not sure how that's going to work. That's why there's a bend there, right? Duh. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it as it is. That's fine. Okay, so that's our that's our car. That is our car. Uh, one. Hmm. Maybe we need to work on the ass of the car as well a bit. This year we can add a little bit more detailing, or do we? Maybe we don't want to. No, we don't want to. I think that looks fine as it is. But what I do want to add is detailing here on, on these um, backlights or, or whatnot. So I'll just hit them with, well, actually, I can just do it on one side. It's being reflected, so it's going to kind of mirror. So I'm just going to get hit them with a sub D inset. Um, enter to continue uh, from, let's say, that point inwards. That's not working. Try again from that point inwards. Yeah. And just like five mil, five mil inset as per usual, or we could give it a chamfer that that would work as well, but I'm just gonna do the inset bit. So now they are a little bit more pronounced, which I think is fine. And here though, as well as here, we will give them a, a nice little double. Um, one segment, yes, a five mil bevel. Just to get that sharp line there. Sharper line, it's not sharp line, it's sharper. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. 20 people watching, okay, way too much, uh, way too many people, uh, which means it's time for me to play a video game um, and make sure that everyone leaves uh, before I continue detailing out the, like adding pipes and whatnot. Way too many of you, I'm not comfortable when, oh, there we go, 19, that's good, that's good. Um, keep leaving. <laughs> um, Right, so let's put a pin in here. Let me save this. And let me open up. Mm, let me open up a brand new tab here and let's play some GeoGuessr. I really like this game. Um, it's basically from, from uh, Google. Street view, you need to guess the, the, the map, uh, or not the map, on the map you need to pinpoint where the location is, uh, which is super fun. And it's just five different locations, so it's not going to be a long one. Um, let me see if there's any... I always like the, from the popular maps, I like the diverse world map, where it's, it's kind of guessable. Uh, it, it has the guessable um, places, um, which, which is nice. So let me just start the game and just chill out for a bit and then we'll continue. Right. Right. Immediately somewhere in the city, which, which helps, but it is cloudy, so we can't really check what kind of sun we have, but we do have a sign, and that sign is in, well, that's a Japanese uh, persona, and wait, 
That is Japanese, okay. Uh, that so we are in Japan. We are in Japan, and where are we in Japan? So let's look at Japan. We have Sapporo, Sendai, Tokyo, and then the islands. So let's look at vegetation. It's kind of hilly here. Um, well, Japan, the freaking whole Japan is hilly. What am I saying? Um, anyone reads Japanese? Oh, come on. That's... Uh, G, I think. Oh my god, no. There's no way that I'm gonna read that. My Japanese is way too bad. Um, but wait, there was an... Yeah, okay. That's an N. Every time in the end, at, at the end of, of every uh, every name, they have sun and it ends with that that particular uh, symbol. So that's a N. Um, all right. So we do have palm trees here. We have palm trees. Palm trees uh, do not belong in the whole Hokkaido region, and they don't. I don't think there are any palm trees in Sendai region. Um, I've seen palm trees in Kyoto, but I'm thinking even even uh, further down south, around Fukuoka. Um, what else can we see? Ooh! Shahaya Tarami. Uh, that is gonna help us. Um, Tsukumi, da da da. I'm not gonna take too long. Um, okay, so Ishahaya. Um, Tara, so there, there's Tarami and there is the mountain aside, that's good. And it's it was around 30 kilometers from Ishahaya, right? I think. I think it was. Yeah. Route 34 as well. So route 34 around are we here feels like or it could be the other way around no I'm, I'm i'm guessing here i'm guessing somewhere somewhere here ah crap okay but that's still pretty good that's 22 uh 22 kilometers away from from our guess so that's that's a good round that that's a good round um okay good five five people left <laughs> that's that's good um well this is nothing crap okay so the sun is from south east so we are in the probably uh in the northern hemisphere that helps the road is well maintained um any guesses in the chat <laughs> we are by the sea and it's super flat it's super flat the thing is that it's these yellow marks like the the the, the the, 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 the yellow line. <laughs> Geo Wizard is one of your favorite. Yeah, I, I, I watched him. It's, it's a cool channel. Um, that guy is, is crazy. So the yellow line here, I think, is USA. But at the same time, everything else is not USA. So I'm gonna, well, a shit ton of solar panels I think those are sol solar panels right pitched roofs uh, all of that good stuff and super flat and also the sea which is 
Mm. It's just a C, right? Um, and also more pitch truths and haystacks. Um, do we go for Denmark? Wait, um, cars. Cars are going... I don't see a pickup truck, <laughs> so I'm gonna go Denmark. <laughs> um, might be wrong, but... Oh, and uh, wait, we are looking at the sea from on our... To the south. Sea to the south. And there is a pretty decent road. Mm. There are no roads here. Oh, there, there is one here, but that's not gonna work, huh? There is like a crap ton, but you, we would see from here. We would see this, so that doesn't work. Could it be like Skåne region? But there is a lot of archipelagos here. Nah, I'm gonna go for Denmark. Let's go for Denmark and let's just uh, let's just say somewhere. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'll just give it a guess here. Oh crap! That was that was Norway. That was Norway. I, I thought that Norway is much more mountainous all over the place, but apparently it's only Oslo Archipelago and then you know everywhere else except here. But that's fine. Still pretty close. And that's cool. Happy about that. Okay, third one. Old car. Uh, corn, I think. Southern style roof with low pitch, meaning that uh, they don't have um, a lot of snowfall. It's just for the rainfall. Um, the sun is, yeah, that's nice. The sun is right above us. That's cool. That's not gonna be of any help to us. Um, everything's peeled off from the from the trash bin, so we can't use that. Ooh, 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 what's that? Unreadable. Completely unreadable. Crap. But this feels like Europe to me. Like this, I don't know, feels like Europe. Europe, and I would say... Hmm. Any guesses in the chat? So I don't know, like... The sun is not helping at all. The sun is weird. Um... Christy posts Europe corn not too many not mountainous but definitely hilly like the, definitely not flat wait hmm <laughs> bus huh how the hell did we miss it can you extract faces from a subdi? Yes, you kind of can. Uh, extract subdi face uh, command. <laughs> Indian old car. Um, those are everywhere, man. Um, those, those are everywhere. <laughs> but that's that naming bus. What the hell? Nah, I still want to see Europe, but... Yeah, I'm gonna go for Europe. I, I, I don't know. It immediately goes to... Uh, to uh, Africa. Okay, Spain, Portugal... Portugal, it could be... Mm, maybe. 
Italy. Well, it feels like Italy. Okay, let's go for Italy and let's go for flat side of Italy, somewhere around the Florence region. I think. Wait. So it's it's hilly here, it's mountainous here, and also you have Italian Alps that are here. So let's go for the hilly region, rather. Somewhere here. Yes. Ah, we need to wait. <clears throat> I need to buy this, I, I think. Because um, this is so much fun. Okay, it was Spain, but we we are we are well on our way here. Um, so it was Spain, and it was actually pretty close to the sea. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't see uh, the, the the sea. Wait, is this like considered the Casp uh, the Celtic Sea, or or already it's it's like the ocean? Ah, doesn't matter. Next map number four. Oh, come on, give me a break. Okay, that is Australian or American. That is Australian or American. That is also Australian or American. The yellow thingy is also Australian or American. The dash, the, the, the line. And uh, that car, uh, that is the back of the car. So we are driving on the correct. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm triggering you, uh, people who are from Australia, on the correct side of the road. So it's America. Also, this. Wait. Shit. No. The sun is in the south. Uh, in the north, sorry. So it's not America. It's the freaking nor northern, uh, southern hemisphere, since the sun is in the north. Uh, but Australia, I mean, help me out here, guys. Australia is a left-hand drive country, right? Or am I missing something here? They use cars, they, they have the steering wheel on the... On the right, but they drive on the left. Okay, this is weird. Th this is being a... Uh... Um, come on, webcam. Yeah. This is be being a, a, a challenge. Um, okay, if it's not... Let's start looking at the map. So, if it's not Australia... And it's not USA because of the sun. And it's not Africa because again the correct like the uh, the, the the driving uh, side is the same as the as Europe. Then we are left with southern South America. And it's pretty cold like if if we look at come on if we look at the vegetation, it's pretty cold here. But that that road sign, though. God damn it! Okay, so it 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 is pretty far down south. It is pretty far down south. Argentina. Do we just yolo it? I don't know. Middle of Argentina. Yeah, boy. I'm a freaking detective <laughs> with these. I'm a freaking detective. Okay. One last. Last round. Last round. Oh, God. Um, well, we, we do have... Uh, we do have something to work with. Um, yeah, thanks for blurring the post for me. That helps. Um, uh, 
What kind of car is that? Oh, that's a that's a Volvo. That's a Volvo. That's a big sign, right? Volvo car. Rock and Moss. Oh, everyone's leaving. Volvo car, Rock and Moss. Northern vegetation. Scandinavian style houses. With pretty high pitched roofs. Meaning that there's a lot of snowfall in the winter. Um, what else? Uh, pretty high mountains. Yeah, the mountains are pretty damn high. And it's like a, a, vill a village situation here. So, okay. And also, what, what else? Do we have anything else? There's like mountains there, there's a lake, so we have a lake to work with. So if you look at Sweden, and we go to, to the north for sure, because here it's, it's super flat. Here, it's super flat, here it, be, it starts becoming mountainous, and around Ore and above, we have the range of, of, of mountains here and flat land here so we need to work somewhere close to norway in in sweden probably uh, near a lake <clears throat> which de definitely doesn't help us out because every like they have like 50 lakes there 50,000 lakes there um kiruna is a bit too far for this kind of vegetation but actually is it though because here it's pretty damn barren. Well, here it's kind of growing, but like the trees are really small. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Somewhere here, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, YOLO. Oh my god, that's even further up north. Jesus. Now that's... Uh, that's far north. People just live there. That's, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. What's our score? 18,454. That's my personal best. And we kind of nailed every guess. Like, Japan was easy. Um, Denmark was... Uh, well, not Denmark. Norway was, was pretty rough. Because I really thought that the flat stuff is going to be in Denmark, not in Norway. But that helped out. Um... At least we figured out that it's it's somewhere here in, in, in the Scandinavia, the southern Scandinavia. Then we have uh, Italy versus Spain. Yeah, it could have been anywhere, honestly, uh, in there. Argentina, this was a really good guess, I think, that this was lucky. Um, and then the last one. Sweden to Norway, even further up north. By the way, those of you who want to travel uh, once once the COVID thing is over and want to see some really cool scenery, I suggest Lofoten, Lofoten Islands. Lofoten Islands right here, this, this area here. Uh, you basically fly to Oslo. Uh, or you fly to Stockholm, doesn't matter. Then you change uh, to a flight which takes you to Kiruna. Uh, and then from Kiruna you uh, travel by train uh, to Narvik. There you rent a car and you go to, to here. Or you can rent a bike as well. But this is a pretty long, long ride with a bike. Um, basically Lofoten Islands look like... Like that. Right? 
and uh, they have this kind of really nice uh, really nice city there that's called uh, Henningsville I can't pronounce it <laughs> Uh, this city and they have the the coolest football field ever <laughs> in, in in that city so um, I, I definitely suggest checking out uh, Lofoten Islands that that was one of the uh, one of the coolest trips I've had but but if you buy tickets buy them uh, like two weeks before your travel uh, just so that you know if it's going to snow uh, there and be like minus three or if it's going to be uh, plus uh, plus 30 and and be a nice ni nice weather it, it the weather changes quite quite drastically throughout the um, uh, the summer there and the sun doesn't set there as well which is nice because it's in the it's above the the, the circle uh, the arctic circle anyway let's stop let's uh, continue working on our car that's that's enough of of of, of tourism suggestions <laughs> for you. Okay, car. I wanna I wanna 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 add some uh, wiring to the car and then call it call it quits. So I will add. I'm thinking of getting some wires. Mm, so now we need to think. And I'll do the thinking with probably with uh, I'll I'll use grasshopper to help me think where where to place the the wires. So let me load up grasshopper real fast. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. Now we have a, a decent amount of people watching now. I'm not so stressed out. Um, playing that, that game was a good, good, good decision. Actually, I probably need to do this, right? Yeah, that's better. Um, close that. Um, CRV. Um, yeah, and we will kind of just do a few curves here and let me just snap them to, let's see, from here hmm. or maybe, maybe they can anchor to here, so from here to here, um, to here here right we have that curve there and I will set one curve I will just do a regular pipe on it and just give it like uh, definitely not 500 mil less look like that um, custom preview and just kind of uh, this will help me uh, this will help me uh, figure out the positioning of, of the wires um, a little bit. That, bump down the alpha. Okay, that, that should do the trick, right? Uh, maybe bump up the alpha a bit. There we go. Hide that. Okay, so now we, we, can, we can work with this. Um, and actually, maybe, 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 let, let's do one, one more thing. That, that's going to help out as well. Um, CRV, CRV, um, change object layer. So now that that curve belongs to the curve layer, and there there needs to be like a there should be some sort of a layer reference. Uh, I don't remember how it's called. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, Google time. Um, layer reference grasshopper. Oh, it's in the plugin. It's in the Lunchbox plugin. Uh, do I need to install that plugin? 
really don't want to. Is there like a get geometry uh, me, 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 input image resource? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Eh, that's fine. That's fine. We will not be uh, working with it then. I just don't want to spend too much time uh, referencing. Um, not referencing, but I don't want to spend too much time uh, try, trying to find that plugin and installing it and, and whatnot when I make the stream as fluid as possible. So let's uh, hit the F10 button and mess around with the control points now to just see what, what we can what we can get. Something like that, maybe. So what if that kind of moves out? Okay, so we need a few more points. So let me rebuild. Uh, we have four, let's do six points. Preview, okay. Uh, so that is that. Oh, oops, rebuild. Uh, six points, but degree of three. Yeah. Okay, so you and you uh, lock the car in place for now. Uh, so, hello, points. You and you get straightened out like that. Grab that point, uh, or, do, or not, or not. Um, you two need to get straightened down as well. Zero. There we go. So we have some sort of a pipe situation going on, and that that well, that's a problem. Um, there's not enough room here for the pipe to work. So I'm thinking of probably rotating it like that. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. We have that straightened out, and then this goes up like that. Yeah, that's fine. Um, this, so that, 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 that. Uh, then we have this and those two. Okay, so those two will need to work together, and those two will work together by being flattened out, like so, being rotated 90 degrees, so that they go in, into the, into the face of, of, of the car better, like that. So we have a wire, huh? Um, and we don't really need that point. Uh, do we need this point? Yeah, we kind of do. We, we do need this point, though. So that... And that is going to be it for this particular wire. Well, actually, no, because this needs to move down. Like that. And this then needs to lift up. Like that. Perhaps I can just move it here. Like so. And move it up. Like so. Okay, so we have first uh, cable thingy here done. Um, and now I actually want to add... Uh, is there a possible to add control point in for, for a wire? Add for a curve, control point uh, to curve. Pick a location for the control point. Insert control point, okay. Ins insert control point. Uh, select curve, yeah. And yeah, and then we just insert it, right? Bam. Easy. Or, okay. That, enter. 
There we go. Okay, so now we have one more control point here, which is great because now we can kind of have more, even more control over the cabling, the wire. So like that, this goes up. Yeah, something like this should should be fine. Should be okay. Um, shall we work with four? Four wires in total for the front. I think we should, right? That's gonna look cool. Oh my god. Webcam. Webcam. Come on. Come on, webcam. Ah, there we go. Okay. Let's do one more. Let us do one more. Bam. Like that. And then... Actually, let's do like all four at the same time. That's gonna be, or no, 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 that, that's, that's a shitty idea. That's a, definitely a shitty idea. Uh, let's, let's do one, one by one. Okay, so we have this, this curve now here, uh, which is fine. We just need this point to move away. Like that, like that, like that. Move back, move back. Like this. That's good. Just to make sure that they don't intersect or anything like that. Uh, they don't, that's good. Uh, then this bad boy here will go up. Like this. And perhaps it can even end it. I think it can. Okay, so it's it's going to go up and above like this. And here it's going to be actually placed. Hmm, where do we place it here? Maybe. No, then it's going to cross, so we can't place it there. Maybe we place it here. Yeah, let's place it here. So we have this going on. Okay, that's wire number two. That is wire number two. Let's do two more. Um, so actually, I'm going to be reusing my first one and just copying it here. Like that. Um, I will select all of three of these. Set multiple. Okay, that's good. Um, and actually, no. Actually, let's do let's do let's make a quick copy of this. And this one is going to be uh, bigger. So if that one is thirty. Or maybe that one needs to be like 25 and this one becomes 50 in radius. Yep. Clear values, uh, get those two, set multiple. There we go. Those two are 25 mil and this one is gonna be 50 mil, meaning that it's, it's a big boy. It is a big boy and we just move it here like so and actually this point will need to move all the way down here like so perhaps even out out and about like that or no, this one is going to go in, closer in. So there's going to be a sharper kink there, but that's fine. Uh, we will be using like a really sharp. No, uh, that's too sharp. That's too sharp. 
like that. And uh, you go closer to the exit, like that. Perfect. Okay, so we have that going on, and now we just need to fix the intersections here on, on this part, which shouldn't be that hard to fix. Um, we just basically need to move this away quite quite drastically. And yeah, it just gets 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 fixed. Maybe this can <clears throat> can kind of do something like that. Even closer. Uh, not too close, not too close. That. Okay, good. Oh shit, now now it's intersecting, huh? Um can I attack it at an angle? Hmm. Not sure if I want to though. <clears throat> Something like that. No intersection there. Almost no intersection there. Um, I think that will work, right? Yeah, that's fine. Um, there's not a lot of slack involved in, in the in this particular wire, so I'm going to give it more slack here. Just to give it a bit more a bit more weight. Maybe it can go in here. So it wraps around better. Yeah, that's gonna look good. Okay. That's fine. Uh, one more, last one <clears throat> for the front, at least. Copy. <clears throat> Sorry. Copy to probably to here, right? Yeah. To here. These two. Nope. Right here. Set multiple. Now let's mess around. And make everything fit properly. So that is looking okay. Maybe it can... What if it did this instead? Go down, go down, go down, go down, go in, like that. And then this. Hmm. Interesting. So, okay, so there are decisions that I can make. Um, Let's start working with, with the, the back of it, and then we will make the decisions about the front once, once, once we have fixed the back. So the back side, these two points need to move back in here, <clears throat> like that. Move down here, like that. That's good. That fits. Oh, well, it's, it's gonna fit. We will make it fit. <laughs> Um, that fits, and then that ugly intersection there needs to be taken care of by just moving this slightly away, like so, and making sure that these two don't intersect, and they kind of do, just a little bit. So I'm, I'm thinking of just having these two points be moved out a bit more more like that yeah that's fine that is fine then we have this point here that needs to actually go there 
and go... Does it go lower? It goes lower, right? It, it should go lower. So it goes lower. And then lastly, we have this point that kind of moves out of the way here. Now this one doesn't need to go lo as low. Like that. Even closer. Now there's intersection there. So a little bit lower. Yeah, that, 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 that should be fine. <clears throat> that should do the trick. Okay. <sighs> Let's build some, <clears throat> some pipes. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to rebuild the, the, the curves. Uh, so that's six points. Okay, that's good. I don't need to see this anymore. I just need to remember 50, 25. Okay. Um, all of these have six points. So I will just rebuild. Um, rebuild them with six points degree one. It's okay. That's what we get. I will flatten this out. No, not flatten. Uh, I will explode. Explode all of these segments into parts and now I will use Multipipe I think it's called I don't know Sub D multipipe. I'll use sub D multipipe with pipe radius. Oh actually different radii, right? For these two the radii are Oh my god sub D Multipipe. So radius was 25. Uh, cap ends. No, don't cap the ends. Strut divisions. Uh, I don't know. One. Okay, that's what we get. That's what we get. Once we hit tab, that's how it looks. Perfect. We have our sub D, uh, sub -D pipes here. I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom ones. Um, multipipe, 50, enter. Okay, we're back, back, back on track. Oh, man. I probably will need the curves, right? Uh, just in case. So I am going to move this to my helper. Uh, my curves. Let me just make them blue, like that, and uh, the curve layer is going to be hidden for now. Okay, so that's what we have, and now I will have a small little break, um, not, 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 not a long one, three minutes, and then we will connect all of these to the car in a nice little way, just like we did with the wheel. That should look nice. Um, let me let me add some text. Actually, yeah, this this, this is uh, this text is correct. <laughs> this text is correct. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, so let me turn off my webcam. Where is the webcam? Now, five minutes, guys, and I'll I'll be back.
Okay. We're back. Well, headphones, my camera, my everything. Come on, camera. Do the thing. Be normal. Just work. It works. Uh, text is gone. Okay. Back on track. Back on track. Um, by the way, is there any lag? Because um, I, I wonder if, if we have any any issues with with, with lag uh, in, on, on Saturday afternoon when everyone's turning on their their Netflix. Just let me know if there's any lag. Um, we'll just unlock. And I'll start going to town with this. So we need to figure out a few a few things here. I will probably okay. Let's do it this way. I will extract uh, control polygon of, of this vehicle. I will hide. Or um, how do we do this? How do we do this? Let, let, let's think. Oops! Don't don't delete the vehicle. Um, so basically, we need this, this, this polygon, and then we need these four, right? Yeah. Okay. So I first I will just make sure that I have enough room here. Uh, so I'll just slide this edge a little bit down somewhere here. That's fine. That should be enough room there. And we definitely need more room here. So that's going to be a tricky, tricky little thing for us to do. Um, Let's see if we can slide this down to give it more room there and work around with that area. And now for here, that, that seems okay, maybe, uh, maybe a little bit more, um, a little bit more room, but not too much. Uh, I'd really need to get in there and uh, select that edge. Uh, that's not an edge. That's that's not an edge as well. Just give me, give, just give me, give me the, give me the edge, please, 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 give me, give me that edge right there. Yeah, perfect. <clears throat> so we take those edges and we just move them down, right? Like this. Which is going to mess up this point, but we can kind of take that point and move it back up to where it was. Okay, that should be enough. No, no lag. That's perfect. Uh, that that should be enough for us to to work with this. I will uh, extract the control uh, extract control polygon from here. I'll hide the sub D. I will select these faces. Ah, uh, that face is messed up, huh? Now we'll work work around it. That's okay. Uh, these four faces here. I will extract a uh, face. Mesh faces, extract mesh faces. Good, and delete everything else. Okay, so this is what we are working with right now. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. How can we solve these ugly, ugly connections? I think we'll manage. I hope we'll manage. We should manage. <laughs> Um, 
So the first thing that I want to do is um, take these edges here. Oh, let's do it one by one and insert edge and just insert an edge loop <clears throat> here. Insert edge, insert edge loop there. Insert edge right there. Insert edge right there. Okay, so that's that's the first thing that we do. The second thing is figuring out how the hell will, will we flatten this out. So my thoughts are, can I just, can I just kind of, hmm. <laughs> can I just kind of move it um, until, let's say, here? And then take this edge and move it until here, right? So it's it's kind of flat. It's it's not perfectly flat, but it's it's kind of flat. It's it's good enough, right? Um, looks fine. Looks okay. Let's continue. Um, this edge right here. Move it until here. So basically, I want some breathing room between the pipe and uh, the form or, or the panel. Oh, that's that's going to be a tight. F oh, no, never mind. Um, I just didn't see, uh, see it that well. That's not going to be a tight fit. That's going to be a OK fit, except for this point that needs to move in. Uh, Oh, but that is going to be a tight fit. But I think if we just take these two points and move both of them back, that's going to be fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And same thing for here. Bam. Mm, yeah, the whole bottom thing can move. Can't, can't seem to snap. Yeah, there we go. We snap it and we kind of move it in here. Ah, still this, this little point there. Actually, these two will move together. From here to somewhere here. Seems okay. Okay, so we have a good enough connection there. Uh, except for this edge that I moved too far. So that, 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 that's the, the way to, to go about it. I will probably convert this uh, to sub D. There we go. Just so that we can kind of start working on it immediately. Um, so all of these are rectilinear connections, which really helps us. And that is nice. So how do we do this? How do we do this? What if this gets an inset? And we will need to figure out this area. Well, this can just be uh, a split, right? Yeah, it can't be just a split. That's going to work. So all three of these get an inset. Uh, of, I don't know, like five-ish. Hmm. Is there such a thing as outset? Let's, 
let's for now do it this way or or maybe let's give it like more like 10 instead of 10 <sighs> instead of 10 click there we go and here we need to split it uh, so I will just insert edge insert the edge nope that's not uh, insert edge there we go like that uh, which makes this into a shitty form uh, so I am going to actually insert edge for all three of these until here uh, that doesn't work now <sighs> okay fine 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 we'll, we'll do it manually um delete that or or do we mm, maybe we just do it this way pow 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 Pow, pow. select select uh, lock for a bit delete okay so now we have a split there and we'll do the same thing for the bottom uh, we still need it though pow, 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 pow. and pow, pow. <clears throat> pow, pow. Um, you and you get locked and then you get deleted i apparently didn't lock those that's fine uh unlock and join all of these up so i need to make sure that once once i'm done uh, i'll need to figure out uh th this point here and the point in the bottom uh but that's that's later that's that's a problem for for later me for now this is fine um, I will give this a bevel though, uh, of, of, of 5 mil, uh, that doesn't bevel, why? Oh, that's because of, of, of this area here, um, so are you creased, uh, remove crease, no change is made, okay, so you are not creased, you are just being a douche. Um, there are two points there okay wireframe let's grab those two points uh stitch enter okay and grab those two points that's only one vertice so why why are you oh wait What's up with that? What is up with that? Okay. These two stitch. Um, okay. A little bit of technical difficulties, that's fine. Stitch. You hear, there we go. Now now it's fine. Now it's fine. And now we can hit this with a bevel of five mil. And it still doesn't work. That's because the bottom one is also incorrect. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where? Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. Finally, bevel five. There we go. Okay. So now we we have some uh, some way of working with this. Um, and, and a way of how this is going to take in the, the, the panels, which is good. And that's exactly what we want. So, is it just a bunch of lofts? Yeah, it's just a bunch of lofts. Sub D loft from here, or, or rather, let's just do it the faster way. Click, click, click. Just join everything up together. It's gonna be a mess there, but it's gonna be fine once once we've um, 
fixed up all of the topology. That's also gonna make a mess. That's okay. We don't care. We just need the connectivity now, not the super clean edge flow. The edge flow will get relaxed later down the line. Mm -hmm. There we go. Seems like there's more people watching every time when I do boring stuff. <laughs> Why? Right now it's just stitching stuff together. Um, to, to, to make it work. Okay. Almost there. Yeah. That is so broken. That is way too broken. Let's do two triangles instead. Instead of a quad for that one. And actually for this one as well. Like way, way too broken. Or maybe, uh, let's see how this joins up. Let's see how this joins up and then we will, we will see if we need to actually make it into two triangles. Join smooth. Yeah, yeah, it's still it's still a mess. Okay. So you sir. One, two, three, four. So you are a technically a quad, but a very, very messed up one. Um and I can't seem to yeah, there we go. Join. All right. That's our that's our shape with uh, some weird thing going on there. Uh, let's investigate. You sir, what the hell are you doing? Uh, you are not a crease, are you? Um, you are not a crease. So why are you behaving like, or maybe you are, uh, remove crease. No changes made. Okay. So are you two vertices? Uh, okay. Uh, stitch, stitch, enter, enter. And then I assume you are two vertices here as well. I accidentally selected that. Uh, don't need that. Go away. Uh, stitch. Enter, enter. Hmm. That's questionable. What's wrong with it? So there are two vertices there, but they are not being stitched proper. Ah. Got it. How the hell did I do that? Oh, anyway. Let's just clean this up. Hide our mistakes. Now it's clean. Now it's fine. And the bottom one is also messed up. Of, co of course, of course. But now at least we know what's what's the culprit. It's, it's those two, two points there. Stitch. Uh, you, come on, you and you, stitch. All right. I like this. I do like this. I think that looks dope, except for, for this area right here, which we definitely want to fix. Uh, triangles. We fix it with triangles. Like that. And like that. 
Now that's clean. Okay. That's good. Let's see what else can we do with this. So you will be my test subject. Ah, webcam. Every time. Cry every time. Come on, webcam. There we go. Um, bevel, right? When in doubt, bevel it out. Five. How does that feel? That feels sharper, but also makes errors. Produces errors, I mean. Um, but I think we can we can work with them to our advantage. If I were to if I were to say this thing right here gets extruded. Uh, along the Y direction inwards by just like 20 or, or even less 10 10 mil we end up getting something like this which is which is nice and it's kind of getting sharp there but that's okay that's fine that that area right there is is kind of being uh, a little bit obnoxious so we need to see if it's possible to mess around with it so that it's not being obnoxious probably not huh yeah hmm. Hmm. That crease, that crease is the bane of my existence, and that crease is, wait, that point travels all the way to here, which is indeed a problem. How do we make this point not get in the way? That's because of all of this, huh? Probably. So what if we take this, right? Uh, well, not that, not that, not that, not, not, not you. What if we take this perimeter and we hit it with a bevel of five like this? Will that help? No, that doesn't help. That doesn't help at all. So my initial idea is that we're screwed. <laughs> is that we are kind of screwed. Wait, let me see one thing. So that travels all the way to here. Yeah, as expected, and that travels all the way to there because of, of this long-ass polygon. Which means that if I were to say that this point actually moves to somewhere like here, like that, and this point moves to here. Nah, this still is, is a little bit messy, but but I think hmm. Let let's let's wait on this for now. Let's wait on this for now and let's let's uh, do one more pipe and see how those balance each other out. I think they will. Maybe, maybe they will. So we did the bevel first. Bevel. A five millimeter one. Then we took the bevel. Oh, it's a little bit messy there, but that's fine. We took a bevel and we extruded it. 
inwards by uh, was it 10 or 20 I think it was 10 right yeah we extruded it inwards by 10 so it made this thing this ridge um, and it's still still being stretched like crazy perhaps we need this point to or the, rather not this point but this edge be moved down and then oh I know I have an idea but I'm, I'm not sure if it's a good idea <laughs> um, maybe it's gonna be a good idea if I were to select this edge here and I were to bevel it just a tiny bit and then I take this edge and move it all the way come on from this point from why can't I snap to geometry there we go from this point to I can't really see what I'm doing come on let me get in there let me get in there let me get in there please please let me <sighs> okay let's do it from the other side that edge moves along until here let's say something like that that still doesn't release stress that doesn't release strain but now i'm thinking that maybe if I now move this point even further still a mess still a mess okay what if we we'll figure it out I promise it's just gonna take a, a little bit of, 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 of practice to figure this out Practice is good. Practice is good. So can I move this down? No, I can't because then it's going to be broken here. But I can move this in and now it's not gonna, gonna be broken anymore. And it's still doing it. Oh my God. Any ideas in the chat? How to fix this? This freaking topology. That's what we have so far, and it's being obnoxious. Do I need to twist it? Maybe I need to twist it. Because this one is clean. This one is nice. Uh, is it? Yeah, it's, it's good enough. It's clean enough. So that it works but maybe we need to untwist uh, these two uh, these two polygons here before we work with it <clears throat> let's try doing that so you're not gonna like what I'm gonna do now uh, we do this delete we 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 do this delete we select all of this we delete and then we start fixing it like that just rotating it slightly something like this like giving it a little bit of twist to the wire rather than uh, to our panel uh, should help us fix a few a few issues here and there <clears throat> perhaps even well even this edge right here edge loop right here can and twist just a tiny bit Okay, 
this is tricky. This is a uh, this is the hardest thing so far that I had to deal with in sub D. Why do we? I don't want to see the lights. Go away, lights. Um. Or maybe mm, stitch edges. Um, we would end up with so many ungons. You don't you don't even know how many ungons. That would be a hell of a lot of handguns for us to deal with later. Um, can I flatten this? Just to work with it a little bit cleaner. Oh, wait. Why is this fucker? Why are you bending backwards oh. so it's bending inwards even without any kind of connection oh that's uh, that's not ideal okay uh, but at least it's a clue on how to fix it so what if we make it smaller Tab. Now it's not bending backwards. Huh. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing the things that it's doing. Let's rotate this a bit. Um. In, in which part? I don't think I have any double edges. Like here, wh wh when I do when I do this, um, once I join it, it welds the edges together. Uh, so initially, what was what where we had two edges, we end up having one. So once once all of this is joined. Um, all of these edges are single, uh, a, a single edge, right? Not, not, not two. Um, but now it seems to work. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. It 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 does work now, so that's fine. Um, let's continue. Five. Like that. Yeah, extrude sub D uh, by 10. Yeah, now it's clean. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. But now it's clean. Now, now it's fine. Uh, so at least we can kind of continue working. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep it that way. That's okay. Um, so now these two, these two shouldn't be that big of a problem. Well, hopefully. Uh, these two just get a bevel. A five millimeter one. Uh, I get the edge loops in here. Involved. Uh, this edge loop and this edge loop. And I just extrude the edge loops, right? Or do I flatten them out? Maybe first I flatten them out to zero, move them in, something like that, and then I extrude inwards by 10. And not the best, but should work. And it does work. Okay, that's fine. So we can deal with this. Um, or that deal with this. I mean, we can work with this. So that's the nice thing, actually, with um, with sub D is that uh, if 
you join everything up, it gets, gets rid of all of the duplicates. And as you probably can tell, there's many shitty things about sub D. Oh man, guess what we need to do next? <laughs> Same procedure. Okay. Um, let me... Let me select these edges here first. Like that. Or rather one by one, right? Yeah, we do it one by one. Hmm. Move towards here. Good. Now you, sir, you move towards... Sure, towards there. That's fine. That's gonna be a very steep incline we will need to rotate those those edge loops first uh you oh you're you are not great there's gonna be a lot of work with this one um i will move it back first until here I know that it gives it a kink, we will fix the kinks, but I definitely need the breathing room here to, to work on it. Like that. Yeah, that's gonna be a toughie. Um, and then we extrude sub D. Um, but then it asks us for the... Wait, I'm thinking... Can I... Okay, so first things first. This needs to move back for sure. Until here. Uh, then this needs to be slightly rotated. Um, the top view slightly rotated like so then we need to extrude sub d along the y direction sure that's that's fine that doesn't matter um flatten it out like that and move it in place like so position it like so. That should be okay. Ah, it gets thinner. Shit. Uh, it gets thinner, that's not good, but I think we can manage the thickness by moving this around. Okay. Probably no one will see it as well, so that's fine to have it there. It's it's not ideal, but that's okay. It's good enough. How's the twist though? So it's constantly whoop and twisting like that. So can we? We can force a bigger twist here. I think yeah, we can. That's fine. Um, I'll, I'll mess around with edge loops there um, in just a second. Okay, I'm, I'm sick and tired of this camera. Let me change the change the battery here. Screw you, battery. Get this one in here. Now it should be fine. Okay. Oh, this is a toughie. But it should, it should work. Technically, it should work. That's what I'm betting on, that it, it just will, will work. Mm. Okay, same procedure for this fella. So this is not going to be that bad. 
as, as what we seen before. I can just move this back a bit like that. Uh, that's okay. I can just rotate it a bit like that. Maybe even a bit more. Yeah, that's that's good. And I know it makes a weird thing there. That's that's fine. That's fine with us. That it does that. I will extrude sub D. I will extrude this along the Z, uh, the Y direction, and flatten this bad boy out. But first, I rotate it to somewhere close, and then flatten it out, and get something like this going on. And now I need to move it in place something like that and rotate it something like that how does it look uh, there's a pretty large kink there so i will take this edge loop and move it back here now at least the kink is a little bit better maintained um, maybe something like this will do the trick. Yeah, it looks fine. You can move this out. I'll, I'll go around and make it pretty uh, later. For now, I just need all of this to connect nicely. So those two will connect, which is nice. Or sit in there. Yeah, that's good enough. Um, these, these two, these two, these two, uh, these two, all they need to do actually is just be rotated a bit, extrude sub D, be extruded, be rotated even further, then be flattened out. Um, and then we twist them and we twist them counterclockwise like so so it should be fine right uh, not not that great but i think <clears throat> i think if we also rotate this just a tiny bit yeah it eats up the the, the kink there so that's that's good um let me move this back and take this and hmm, we really can't move that bag too much. Let's see how this looks. Uh, it's pretty intense, pretty intense kink right there. So I will be moving it back just like so to reduce the kinkage the kinkage final one okay now we're kind of rolling right we we kind of know what we're doing finally um so we need to crap we need to rotate this bam like so that's too much that's too much rotate it like that Extrude sub D, bam. Um, rotate even further, bam. Scale to zero, bam. Um, figure out the angle for rotation. I'm thinking counterclockwise again. Move it back in, like so. Look at the mess that we're made. Um, that's not that bad. Because this can be just kind of rotated a bit. That's good. This can be moved. Somewhere here. And yeah, that's fine. That, that, that looks okay. Okay. Whew. <sighs> that was rough. That was rough, but we managed. What? Why the hell are you not a circle? Just be a circle, please. Just be a circle. Um, so we managed it. 
Now we will take all of these and uh, inset all of them separately. Uh, 10 like that. Um, we will also we will also need to insert an edge uh, an edge here. Insert edge to here. We will need to figure out how do we eat up this edge. I'm thinking triangles, but that might be a very bad idea. Well, f first things first is now, now we kind of We definitely need to take these edges and just move them, uh, or rather slide them, I guess, one by one, closer. Closer. Well, maybe there. There. Why does this always give me the selection filter? I really don't like the selection filter. What? Well, well uh, I don't like it giving me the selection fi filter. I like using one. Um, that goes down definitely. And that is already a problem. But is it a problem that we can fix? It should be, right? So let's... Oh, right, right, this, this area right here. Um, so we need to figure out... How the hell do we divide this up? Perhaps I could... Okay, so maybe I can... Take all of these edges, insert edge, ah, but I can't do that, okay, crap, crap, okay, let's undo, um, undo a bunch of times and think about this more. Uh, so I definitely need a division there, okay, so this, insert edge, and put it there. Okay, that's the first thing. Then I need to adjust the the polygons. Um, F10. No, no, not not F10. Control Shift. Just Control Shift and move this slightly away, just a tiny bit. This one can move along the edge until somewhere here. Okay, so we have one edge loop going on here. We have the other one going on there. Uh, then I will actually add insert edge. I will add more edge loops, um, which means that now we can. Oops. Now we have a polygon for every entry, uh, which I can inset separately by uh, five, whatever, some amount, and delete those polygons, right? So now we have hole openings here. I'm thinking of actually moving this a little bit to the side, like so. That looks fine-ish, looks okay. Um, so now, it's a shit ton of stitching involved, right? <sighs> Once I've done this, we will do some rendering because I'm tired of 3D modeling. So I'll want to do some, some uh, texture creation. And then we'll continue with the pipes. As per usual. Ah. There. 
we go. There we go. Clean topology, clean topology, clean topology. We need some clean topology. We'll also have a sh crap, crap, crap. That's not good. Uh, that's a bad polygon there. Um, let's try triangle, triangle. Um, maybe that's not going to complain too much. Okay. <sighs> Join. Tab. Yeah, that actually works. Works well. Connects well. That's fine. Okay. Um, so now we hit all of this with a bevel. That bevel is going to be tricky. Let's see if it's going to be messed up. Bevel. Uh, five. Yeah, so it gets messed up there. Um, that's okay. Uh, we can kind of work around this issue by grabbing this edge and slightly moving it to here and then doing the bevel. Now it sh there should be enough tolerance. Uh, five. Enter. Yeah, that's good now. So now that means we can select all of these like that like that and extrude them inwards by 10 okay moment of truth emap mm, bad things going on there Everything else here is fine. That's also okay. Some weird stuff going on there, but uh, that's that's not a problem. The main issue is here. Okay, so what's what's the problem? Um, show edges. Yeah, that that triangle is the problem, huh? As expected. Let's see. Let's see how we can uh, how we can fix this. Um, is it possible to somehow move this vertice to, uh, come on, to here, so that this is uh, treated as a quad rather than a tri rather than two triangles? Build a quad there. This is, by the way, why I, I prefer working with quads. You, you will notice that every time when I do two triangles, I, there's some cleaning up involved. Um, that is better. Emap. That is better with Emap. It's actually fine. It's okay. Good. Woo! Um... How is it called? Single sub deface command. Well, I'm I'm just clicking on the on the icon here, and then I just use join to to join it in. Okay, close the emap. We have our cylinders or wires or whatever. Uh, show. Uh, let's look at the car now. So we do have places where it's gonna go in. Let me uh, hide it for a bit. This, 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 and that. Delete. This, 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 and that. Delete. Show. There we go. That fits in. That fits in nicely. Um, and we just join it in. Uh, hit the tab button, see some errors here, we will fix those, that's not a problem. I hope that's not a problem. Ah, uh, I can't really see. So that edge right here needs some fixing. Um, and it's basically this this point that's, that's giving us shit. So let us 
figure out a way of how to fix this. It's getting really hard to, to work on this. Uh, let's lift up the clipping plane until, uh, let me make it smaller. So where, where was it? Where was the, the error? Ah, uh, there it is. There's the error tab. Okay, so the problem is that here we have uh, this edge going on, like do, doing just doing its thing. So um, here it's kind of an easy fix. Stitch. 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 I can't write. Um, this is a little bit more tricky. But I think what we can do is we can take this insert edge, insert an edge right here, like so, and stitch these two vertices together. Stitch. Bam. Um, why are you still a crease? You shouldn't be a crease anymore. Um, do you have doubles? Let me just see. So there's a double point right there. Okay, that's fine. That's that's an easy fix. Bam. Um, or rather, wireframe. Two subdivisions. Stitch. Enter. Uh, can't see anything. Tab. Yeah. Okay. So now it's clean enough, uh, and it looks okay. Looks fine. Okay. Um, and then we have some issues here as well as here. Yeah. Uh, so let's, let's look at those next. I think all we need to do, wait, I think this is going to be an easy one. We need two edge loops, right? And then it's fixed. Yeah. Okay. So that's an easy fix. Uh, we just get these uh, three polygons here. We insert edge and we insert one edge here and we repeat it for, come on, these three edges here. Insert edge and we just give it here. Oh, okay. I need to now select this edge loop apparently. Insert edge and we add it right, right, right there, right there. There we go. Okay, so we still have duplicates here, uh, but we will fix them just in the same way that we fixed the duplicates before. Stitching to the average vertice. That and give me those two. Stitch to the average like so. Yep. Fixed it. Looks clean. Looks nice. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Bottom. The bottom needs same same procedure, and it's really really hard for me to <laughs> to get in there. Um, so basically, edge loop needs to go here, and edge loop needs to go here. So I will just insert. Two edge loops there. Ah, almost. Almost messed up. Insert edge uh, to here. And now let's just select these. Insert edge to here. Bam. Some uh, casual stitching. Perfect. Oh yeah, we are Gucci now. Shade it, tab. <sighs> Time to reflect. Around the x-axis, keep the side automatic. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Mm. 
I like this. This looks cool. This looks nice. Um, and actually, we didn't mess up the. We didn't mess up the pipes too much. We can now kind of go in here and make sure that they uh, they look cool. So that is nice. Uh, this kink is a little bit too too much. Uh, so let's move it out. Move it out here. Um, do we move it up? No, we don't. So that kink is a little bit now looser. Um, this though needs to move out a bit and move in a bit like that. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, let's check out the any curvature issues. So there is like the pipes are a little bit wonky, but that's fine. It's actually okay for what it is that 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 is a nice connection. The only connection that where I messed up is this one, but I think that's okay. Like leaving leaving an error like that inside, I, I think just adds character to the model. Um, so I will not be go getting in there and fixing all the planner faces. Um, shall we? Let me save this first. Shall we render? I think we shall render because I still want to. Uh, the last thing that I'm going to do is add uh, piping here, I think. Just, uh, wiring here just a little bit. Just to give it that last last push in terms of the of the car facade. Um, let's let's do some some materials, right? I think doing materials is going to be fine. So I already have some lights. Uh, from last stream and we do have a material from last stream as well which looks like our master which looks like that uh, so it's basically a metallic material with some uh, dirt on top of it <clears throat> nothing nothing too fancy and you can't really see the dirt can you uh, that sucks well, but it is there, this, this kind of dirt. Um, let me make dirt bright orange, just so that we can see it better here in, 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 the, in our setup and also in the car. Um, and we can kind of adjust the dirt uh, as, as we are rendering. So let me start rendering. And this is the moment where you say that it lags or it doesn't lag. Because uh, my computer is going to freak out. Uh, apply. So that's where all the dirt is going to be located. It's going to be located in the creases, of course. And that looks fine, right? Maybe a little bit too much, though. Let's look at this area, for instance. Oh, actually, that's fine. That's okay. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Okay. That looks fine. So that's our dirt, and uh, I will, of course, change the color of the dirt to almost black. And you won't be able to see it, but we know that it's there, right? So if there is more light, we will see the dirt. Okay, now we have our base metal, which is black. Um, and actually, I want to make it a little bit more... Um, a little bit more shiny, so I'll give it like 0 0.9 reflection, uh, glossiness. 
something like that. And I will give it a color of uh, this kind of a very light, or not very light, but kind of light bluish tint. But now it's, hmm, now it looks like shit. So it does need to be black, right? We just work with it through the reflection color instead. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. So we will give it a little bit more bizarre through the reflection color instead. Like that, and glossiness. Actually, I'll bump it down to 8.5. That looks fine. Damn, my... My processor is not happy about this. <laughs> about this thing. Um, okay, so we have our, our metal color. Um, I will revisit it later. I will add a little bit of a bump to it and all of that good stuff, but for now that's fine. Um, I want to add a coat of car paint. So let's, let's take a look at, at probably car paint material, right? Or do we not use car paint material? I don't really want to use car paint material on this particular vehicle. I think that that would take away from the sci-fi aspect of it. Let's just do generic. Let's just do generic material. And I'll call this um, car paint. Or car dash paint like that. I will color it red, like deep, deep red, and I will slap it in between the dirt and the base, right? Because the base is the metal and the dirt is the dirt. So I'll create a new layer, a new coat, and I will add it in between the dirt and the base, right? So coat one. And that's going to be our car paint. So this is how it's going to look. Well, not, not, not like this, but um, how it looks right now. Um, and I will add a blend. Okay, so I'll need to work with a blend. And for that, I need my helper. Uh, apply to selection. Uh, let's turn off the rectangular lights. And the helper is an emissive map with which I check the, the masks that I'm using for blending. Uh, really useful. I, I definitely suggest you uh, using this method. It's it's quite nice. Um, so this is how the dirt dirt mask looks. It's fine, but for the car paint, I want the paint to be chipped on the edges, right? So we can't really use this. Or maybe we can, but I will clear this and I will make a new one. So we want the outer edges, like these sharp edges here, to be chipped off, the paint to be chipped, chipped off, and the metal to show uh, underneath. So I will... Um, I don't know. Do we do... We do dirt again, right? I think we do dirt. Let's do dirt. Let's do dirt. Um, oh yeah, and I forgot that V-Ray 5 keeps uh, messing, messing up every time when I do this. So we did dirt. It doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't look like anything, but if I increase the radius, it's, you know, you, you're going to start seeing the inner angles being, uh, being uh, fixed or, or or the inner inner corners having the dirt inside of them, but that's not what I want. What I want is um, what I want this is to be inverted, right? No, not even inverted. Inner occlusion. What's that? 
that's inner occlusion and that is ambient occlusion so ambient gives us okay we need to find an uh, some sort of a sharp corner i think that's that's good enough of a corner so that's ambient occlusion and inner occlusion is that and it actually does give us that corner so if i increase the radius to 100 that's exactly what we get i think not sure really hard to say um we need to mess around with the distribution a bit let's say distribution uh, 20. we get something this and fall off higher fall off well not that high okay so, so the fall off is not our friend in this case so fall off is zero um instead we deal with radius why is that being huh that's weird let's uh, switch them up uh, switch uh, up the the colors and take a look at that reduce the radius even further mm -hmm. so we are getting somewhere but it's not what i really want what if the radius is negative minus 50. No, uh, that doesn't work. What if fall off is negative? Minus 5. That doesn't work. What if distribution is negative? Minus 5. Minus 50. That also doesn't work. Said that, this seems to be giving me the outer edges, right? Or am I, am I being a dumbass? Um... let's see let's see let's see yeah all of this is is kind of shining bright so it is doing that but it's doing it in a very soft way i don't like it but if i ramp up the distribution then it starts working except in these particular cases so hmm Any thoughts, guys? Any ideas on how to get a gradient on the outer edges? Let's, let's work with this. Let's work with this, and uh, if it's going to produce weird results, then we will take a second look at it, because right now it seems to be doing okay uh, so we have that i will actually take this and wrap it in uh, in a spline curve i'll go to value oh yeah and it's it's gonna break of course re-render uh, okay um and i'll just ramp up the contrast quite quite drastically not sure if that helps in at all. Ah, that 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 is definitely not what we want. <laughs> yeah, it does run Viri. It runs Viri five as well, which is super nice. This is not helping us though. It's still, wait, does this even work? Let me just move everything to white. Okay, this doesn't work. Uh, that's, that's good to know. That is good to know for sure. Cut it away, paste as instance, and wrap in, let's try Bezier curve then. Maybe Bezier will work. Mode mono render um will you work though 
Ah, it doesn't seem like it's gonna work. Hmm. Or will it? Because here it does. Okay. Okay, so I'm inverting here. I am inverting it here, so I don't want to invert. But we can work with this. Bam, bam, bam. That's how it looks here. Uh, if we do this, then it's absolutely the same thing. God damn it. God damn it. Um, but if this is being moved up, then the... Okay, so this controls the black, this controls the white, which means that I should have the possibility to do something like this. But it doesn't work. Okay. Okay, so the, um, there is no, no way on how to control the intensity of the gradient, unfortunately. Um, well, wait, let's, let's try one, one last thing. Um, base test instance, blah, blah, blah. Uh, radius. Oh, yeah, uh, re-render. Um, so we have that. Uh, let's amp up the radius a bit. That's eight millimeters. Let's do like uh, 10 or even more, uh, 20, two centimeter radius. Yeah. And then we need to bump, we will need to bump it down. But is it possible to, I, I'll keep trying to wrap it in stuff. Uh, let's try color correction. Uh, what if we do color correction for it? And we say that the brightness is amped up. Okay, so that kind seems to be doing a thing. Uh-huh, and contrast, more contrast. Contrast 20. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Color correction works. That's good, that's good to, to know. Uh, which means that now we can mess around the brightness and the contrast to get what, you know, to get a sharper edge <clears throat> for where our panels are going to go. Not panels, chips. Chips. Um, do we increase it even further? I think we do. Yeah, I think that's fine the way it is right now. I might even decrease it even further. So I think that's fine, but we need to decrease the radius because it's a little bit too much. So let's say nine. Okay. I think that's fine. I think that that's gonna gonna work. Can we ramp up the distribution to like 20 and uh, increase the radius then? No, we can't. Okay. So let's do radius of uh, 10 and distribution of zero to get all of the details in, uh, even less than five, radius of five. Okay, so this is where all of our chips are going to go. Um, chipped paint uh, texture. And then for... We don't want it all to be kind of smooth. We want it to be kind of separated into chips. So I need to figure out a way of how to separate this. Like break, break this apart, break this mask apart. <clears throat> Well, <clears throat> we definitely will work with the occluded color, so that's the first thing. And we will work with probably just two colors, right? Uh, so can I use, for instance, 
cellular or noise or speckle god damn it that's so many options let's try noise b so this kind of noise let's add a turbulence to it like that uh let's stop the render and start the render because apparently that's a thing that we need to do um and then we see that the noise pattern is way too big so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wrap the noise in um uh, triplanar mapping uh, component and i'll give it uh, we render it again I'll give it a size of, uh, let's say, 50 centimeters. So every 50 centimeters is going to repeat. That should, should be fine. And it is doing something, but we need to mess around with it for this to work. So first things first is finding the correct contrast. Uh, so let me ramp up the lows and ramp up the highs to a close, uh, close value. And we do start seeing these chips appear, but they're a little bit too, too close. And also probably a little bit too big. So let's do size 0 0.05 for smaller chips. And they are still too big. Let's do low. No, 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 either way around. I constantly want to have less than 0 0.1 in between the low and high to get a high contrast between the materials, uh, between the noise texture things. Um, this should do the trick, actually. This should do the trick. I know it doesn't look like much, but I think... I think this is gonna work. Well, at least we have some sort of a start uh, for for our material. So that is going to be this texture right here that you barely can see. Let me stop the render. Is going to be our mask, and I'll copy this mask and go to my car master material and paste paste it as a as paint, right? I think. Paste us copy. Yeah, let, let's just try. Ah, crap. Uh, it needs to be inverted. <laughs> it needs to be inverted. Shit. Uh, so we need to go into here and figure out a way on how to invert all of the colors. Um... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can we just kind of wrap it in some sort of a car paint wrap in um, some sort of a in, in invert modifier? There's no invert modifier here, is there? Oh, that's a doozy. That's a doozy. So we need everything to be white except for the parts where it's going to be chipped right okay let's let's uh, color correction has invert okay if it does then uh, then then we're good good to go um blend wrap in color correction uh rewire channels Help me out here. I don't see any any way to invert it here, or is it just uh, no? Wait, if brightness is minus one, that's not going to work. So I need to rewire the channels. Um, sure, we can uh, inverse inverse red, inverse green, inverse blue. Uh, we don't care about the alpha. Yeah, okay, that 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 works. 
that works. No, no, don't say whoops. It it actually works. Um, it's just like a, 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 a. I assume there is a faster way, <laughs> but it does work there. Um, right. So that means we can kind of slap this material on top of our car and see that it's not being rendered. Oh, that's because we turned off the lights. We turn on the lights and we see that. Uh, is, there, is that a chip? Is that a single little chip there? I think it is. I think it is. It's not going to be a, a pure red car, by the way. J just so that you know. So there are chips, but they are not... They're not showing up properly. So it's a very weak. Okay, uh, we need to fix this. It's it's uh, not enough, and also I kind of want to change the color a bit, or maybe we can do this. No, we can't. We shouldn't. Um, so let me go to. Oh wait, where where is the music? Hello, music. Play. Uh, let's change the genre. Uh, while we're at it, um, I want to listen to some, actually some uh, dance music, some some techno. Well, maybe not techno. Uh, instrumentals. Uh, that's kind of soft houses. Not 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 my cup of tea. Uh, wait, let, let's find something. Um, dance, beautiful, disco, synth pop. Synth pop, I like synth pop. Okay. Um, so there are chips here, uh, but they are way too, you know, there's way too much effort involved in making them, and eventually they don't show up. So I will make some adjustments. Um, that is fine. We go in here and we change the the brightness. We ramp up the brightness, or do we ramp down the brightness? God damn it! Um, ah, crap! Now I don't remember. Yeah, we inverted it, right? So we need to. The brightness needs to go even lower. Or maybe we go even deeper here. And we just increase the radius to 10. So some chips are starting to appear. Radius of 50. Now chips are appearing everywhere. So we don't want that. So back to 10. Uh, we'll figure it out, I promise. Um, what if here we actually have more more stuff? Yeah, there we go. That's 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 looking better. That's looking much much better. Ooh. So that is that. That is our um, our metal showing up around the edges with a little bit of dirt. That's good. Okay. So now let's make it actually look nice, right? Uh, since we know that it's working. Um, so for car paint, I actually want it metallic. So I'm thinking of um, getting this maybe. Um, paste, slapping it here. Um, this guy will be black. Or maybe it will have this kind of a cool bluish 
bluish tint to it. Just tiny bit of, of, of this bluish tint. Hello, welcome. Uh, this bluish tint, it will have... There's a metalness slider? Why didn't I use the met metalness slider for the other one? Okay, we'll need to fix this. Uh, for now, uh, 0. Uh, 0.7 ish. Yeah, that that looks better already. Reflection IOR 2.5. That looks okay. Maybe we can go go and make this black then. Um, all right. So so th this is starting to look look okay. Now for the. Huh. It's a little bit too glossy though. Is there a way? Let's make this two. Yeah, something like that. Maybe even less, 1.8. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. And metalness for this one. How would it look like with full metalness? That didn't change anything. Yep. Um, well, we don't care. So we have car paint. That's good enough. Uh, for now, we have car master, which is going to be the base color, the paint color, the dirt color, right? So the dirt, we'll need to work on that. The paint um, is fine. The base uh, needs, actually the reflection of the base can be white, pure white. The metalness can be, of course, ramped up, ramp, ramped up to full. A reflection glossiness 0.9. Um, or even one. No, not one. Something like that. I have no idea what you're trying to say. What the fuck with resolution? It's always better. I'm not watching you first time. Uh, English, please. So we almost are there. We're, we're pretty close with, with the initial setup for the material. Um, we have the paint chips, we have the paint itself. I think we can get away with having a little bit more... A little bit more dirt and a little bit more chips, right? Um, so let's add that. Uh, car paint, blending... Uh, let's go... Let's go into here, into here, radius 20. That doesn't help. 25 or let's say 50. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so, so the, the, the biggest issue is that I can't see the chips anymore. Uh, that's that's not good, especially with this uh, with the speed of rendering. It's not great. So what I'll need to do to actually see the chips, I'll need to go into car base and give it a color of red, uh, just so that we can see them better. Oh yeah, yeah. We, we will be adding a bunch of bump maps. Right now I'm just working with color uh, and working with layers and then we will add uh, a crap ton of, of scratches and bumps and, and, and so on on the car. 
Uh, right now, I just want to arrange all of the all of the layers. Um, so there's a chip there, <laughs> uh, but that's definitely not what I want. Um, let's go in. Let's let's dive in here and see what can be done. Uh, what if we do that? Okay, if we do that, then there's a there are chips that are being and created. I'm not sure how that actually translates. I think that that's fine, right? Yeah, yeah, we, we do get some some metally bits now. Um, metallic bits. And let us... Let us ramp up the radius, actually. Well, no. Well, yes, 75 for the radius. And uh, for the for the contrast, what if we ramp it down a bit to like 20 and brightness, we ramp it down to 0 0.9. Do they all go in? Oh my god, they're all... Or, or not. Wait. So hard to tell. So it's definitely not on that edge, right? Okay, time, time for some... Uh, some, some, some testing. Let's jump in here, um, right here to the turbulence and let's completely clear it, right? And uh, completely clear that color as well. So this is what we're dealing with without any, any adjustments. And that is not good. That is not what I want. Hmm. Back to the drawing board, huh? Let's uh, let's slap the helper on top here and let's investigate it with the helper, right? So first things first is um, our color is incorrect here. Well, no, it is correct here. It is correct here. It just needs to be inverted. So what was white needs to become black and what was black needs to become white. Okay, can we just then say Oh my god, this is becoming a little bit tricky. Can we say red is inverse, green is inverse, blue is inverse? <clears throat> I love that. And then we remove the contrast just to see better. So that's what we get. Okay, so at least we understand now why why is it that we don't see the chips. The, this this fella right here is messing us up a bit. So let me say zero and one uh, like that. And now let's let's try. 
let's try working with this. So let's first go in here and increase the radius to like uh, 20. Or what was it? Whatever was it. 20 it seems fine. Distribution, increase the distribution. So that is... Mm -hmm. uh, so even more distribution, like uh, 30. Yeah, pretty high distribution. Um, 30 for the radius. Maybe even 40. Okay. That starts working. At least a tiny bit. But it's not getting a freaking gradient here. I think the inner occlusion, I think this is the the the, the problem. I think that's the problem. Um, oh, okay. Uh, when in doubt, just make a test object. Okay, we have this box here and we have another box here. Like that. Boolean difference. Out like that. Uh, let's slap the helper on top of it. And let's see. Crap, okay, it works perfectly on the box. It works just like I want it to work on the box. Um, <sighs> 50 for the radius. What's the fall off? Okay, got it. So let's not have any fall off. Um, strange that here it's it's like so thin and here it's so black all, all over the place. Um, that's not how it should go. But it is doing exactly what I want it to do. And then we can decrease the brightness. Right, but increase the contrast, which kind of cancels each other out, so that doesn't work. What if we mess around with gamma gain and lift? Gain is that, okay, so we don't mess with that. Gamma is... Gamma is... Nothing. Oh, actually, that became just sharper, right? Maybe. Gamma 50. Nah, that doesn't care. Okay. Uh, what about gain or, or base? What's base? That or that. Okay. Gotcha. This doesn't, doesn't work. Oh, but we have lift here. What's lift? Lift is basically that. Okay, but can it be minus one? It can. Minus 0 0.5 and then increase the gamma. Okay, uh, increase the gain. Okay, so this is how we add contrast. That's, that's fine. Um, minus two, uh, five. Okay, so let's try Gain set to 2, lift minus 1, um, something like this. Oof, jumping into the actual file here and messing around with the distribution. Like so, messing around with the radius. Like so, I think that, that looks funky, but I think that looks okay. 
yeah let's let's leave it as as, as that um Going in here, an occluded color here. And for some reason, this is white. I think that's because we need to re-render it. Maybe that's gonna help. Okay, so it does help, but uh, in a weird way. Why are you being repeated so so much? Should be like every 50 centimeters. That's weird. Sure, uh, let's do every two meters, whatever. Uh, blending, a little bit more blending, please. And randomization um, for texture transforms in the. No? Multipliers. No, I don't remember how to mess around with the texture. I think it's randomization. Uh, texture offset. Axis. Texture rotation. Frame rotation. That's not bad. Yeah, that's fine. That's that's good enough. Good enough randomization for me. Um, we then need to mess around with the chip size, apparently. 0 0.005, 10 times smaller. Um, and we definitely need more chips. Which is weird, because here we kind of see that it's almost pitch black. But let's, sure, let's do it. Um, so that's what we have so far here. Uh, definitely not what we want. Fractal. Can we... Why are you not becoming white? Hmm. That's being obnoxious. Or is it because of the blend? I think it's maybe because of the blend. No, it's not because of the blend, of course. Is it because of the frame? Nope. Okay. <sighs> so maybe fractal is a bad, bad way to go about this. But regular noise is bad. Turbulence is okay, but we need to to mess around it with the turbulence until we have something that we can work with. Ooh, that's that's actually pretty close. Um, something like that, huh? What if we invert it? We go towards there. Nah. It just stops working. From time to time, it just stops working. I don't know. Is it because of the size? Then it just starts working again, I don't know. What's up with that? But uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. As long as it works, I will take it. So, okay. Less or more chips? Always more. Something like this. Um, that might be because of the of the bitrate of the streaming. Um, but wait, let me check. That's that's a good good catch. If it is this, mm. no, it's actually fine.
That's fine. Just make sure that you set it to 1080p. If you set it to 1080p, it should be fine. Um, at least the text for me is readable. Uh, just kind of tuning into the stream and seeing what you guys are seeing. Um, so that tiling there is a little bit weird. Let's see if it's possible to get rid of it. It's not. Okay. Is it because of the blending? Lack of blending thereof? Maybe. Either way. No one will zoom in that far. So we have something like this. Which I think is fine. Oh, but we have some stepping going on here. Hmm. And some zebra patterns. Oh man, that's this is a long fight. Well, for now, I'm, I'm thinking of just having it like that. I have no idea why it's doing that there, though. And the chips could be bigger. Let's just make the chips bigger and then uh, kind of continue on working, working on this. So size 0 0.05. Something like that. That's fine. Um, okay, okay, or mm -hmm. that and that, that and that. Come on. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Um, so now new, new texture, new texture, copy, master material, paste, well, paste as copy. Um, Re-render with the new texture. Lights turn on. Delete the box. Okay, so we have some some stuff going on there. Some some red dots. That's fine. Um, let's change the color to be actually white. Something like that. Okay, that's good. I will, I will, I will, I will. I think that that will look fine. Now, uh, one last layer before we kind of continue. Uh, dust, right? So new material or new coat materials, generic dust. Or car dust uh, like that, and it's just going to be for now just this this kind of white white material here. Uh, let me add it to the master. Our dust blending is going to be along the. Wait, is it fall off? I think it's fall off, right? Fall off blending, yes, yes, it is fall off. Like that, and we will say, um, not view, but rather uh, world, world Z uh, towards away, inverted, like that. Render it again. 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> Does at least the bottom have some... Some metal there? Yeah, there's some metal there for the bottom. Okay, so there's uh, still some work to be done on the dust. So that's the gradient, that's the problem, right? Yeah, it's the gradient, that's the problem. So I will just wrap it in. This time I will be using spline curve value. Bam. Bam. There's nothing. Okay. Bam. What the hell? <laughs> Anyone had that problem before? Or did I apply the wrong material or something? I didn't, right? Like everything here seems to be okay. Uh, okay, we have dust, we have dirt, we have paint, and we have the base. If I turn off the dust, it looks like that. Dirt, base, or, or paint. That's, that's our base material. Right? Just a shiny metal thing. Then that is our... And then let's just add dust on it. It just makes it like so. What the hell? And it even shows up there. As, that, that's the problem. Um, but it, it seems to be fine there. Am I being... Like what? Okay, what if we just pull everything to, to zero? Huh, that's a bug. We found a bug. We found a bug. Yay, found a bug. So Apparently that doesn't work. Okay. How are we gonna deal with this then? Uh, first things first, we need to change the color of the dust to red, as we always do, and just render it out to see. Okay, so that, that works fine. Master material, clear the blend. And just um, apply the master material. So now it's dust on top of, you know, 50-50, like metal plus the red dust. Um, okay. Is it possible to add like a gradient that's angled to... No, no, no. So, so it's not a gradient, it is a falloff. Uh, it does need to be a falloff map. But it doesn't seem to work at all. Even if I change this to completely black, this still doesn't work. Hello, what the hell? Oh, now it works. Uh, so can I... Okay, so now if I change the color here, it does work, which means I can now wrap this in a spline curve. Yes. Re-render. And ramp up the oh the, the, the value. Ramp up the value. Here and here. <laughs> here. Okay. Now it now it works. That's fine. Um 
So now it works and now we can make adjustments, but before we do, we need to change this to what, what I wanted. Thor's away, world Z. Uh, inverted. Or maybe just do this instead. Like that. And then mess around with the values here. I think that's that's gonna be fine, right? I think that's gonna be fine. So that's dust buildup. Maybe we can do a little bit, a little bit of a gradient like that. Just a tiny bit of a, of, of a gradient. Okay, so we have our red dust, which we will, of course, change to something that is not red. Um, and we will also, of course, add um, some sort of a texture to it. So let's actually do that. What kind of texture do we want? What's a, what's a cool texture for dust buildup? Can we do like um, Can we do marble? Or smoke? Let's do smoke. So smoke texture with higher exponent, with lower exponent, I mean. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to re-render for this to to actually see it. Um so with higher exponent, apparently. So it's a little bit more wavy, right? Um, and also it's breaking apart drastically. Jesus. Um, we need to fix that. Uh, we will be doing, we will be wrapping this in, um, a, a, a triplanner mapping tool and we'll give it like 500 mil to map um, that should do the trick kinda um, and also we need to kinda increase the contrast of it so I'll just slap a spline curve on it Ah, for, for, for the values, of course. Now we don't, don't see it anymore. Let me re-render. Yeah, now we see it. Okay. So something like that, right? Only a little bit calmer. Yeah, something like this, I think, is gonna be gonna be fine. Hmm. It's not gonna be that intense, guys. Don't 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 forget. And now I want actually I want to kind of add one texture and then we will continue modeling because uh, I could spend hours on this and just I have I think I have already spent hours on this. So the texture that I want to add, um, fingerprints, or wait, was what was it like Death Stranding, uh, that video game, Death Stranding uh, texture hands, mm, that texture, just a second. No, there's there's no texture that that I could use. Um, what's a good <clears throat> what's a good place to find textures? Textures.com.
I think it's textures.com, right? Yeah, come on, move, move here. There we go. Textures.com. Uh, free account? No, I don't wanna. I don't wanna do a free account. No, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's just find grime, grime dust texture, and just use any kind of a first thing, thing that we find. Dust textures, free speckles. That's perfect. Um, let's see how it's. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, copy image. Um, actually, it's not gonna tile that nicely, but that's fine. We will figure it out. Don't copy image, save image. Uh, same image uh, to desktop, to car project, dust, speckles. That's good enough. Uh, jump in here. Um, for color A. That is going to have a bitmap attached to it. Blender texture library. Meh. Meh. Eh. Eh. Some are good, some, but it's, it's just faster to Google for, for this kind of work. Um, let's just hit it with the dust speckles. And nothing happens. Or does it? Or does it? No, it doesn't. Okay, uh, we need to render it again. And then it's gonna happen? Yes, now it happens. Okay, so now we only have just a few speckles there. Which is not ideal. Why is it just a few speckles? Did we... Oh, we messed up with the contrast here. And did we mess up? Yeah, and we messed up the contrast here as well. Shit. Okay, that's that's rough. That's rough. That's something that we need to fix. So fall off white and black. Let's let's think about this. This is gonna be <laughs> that game is good. Um, let's think about this. So we need a way of how to change the texture, the, the, the color correction of the speckles independently from the color correction of the overall fall off map. For that, um, I will create a new material just, just so that it's like, like a clean start. So for that, we will need to use a mix map texture where the top color and bottom color. So the top color I know. Okay, so we we use this, right? Uh, we use the that texture, that blend texture. Just copy it or cut it, doesn't matter and paste it in our new texture map here as our mixed mix map. Paste as copy. Right. Uh, now, and we don't need to render it. All right, Polygon, they do have some nice textures. Uh, yeah, I'll need to, I'll, I'll take a look there. Um, so we have that and here, right here, we don't need this texture anymore, so we clear it, we just leave it as smoke, right? Because now, because now if this is red and this is blue, it becomes pink. Uh, that, that, that's, that's weird. Okay, let's see how it actually works on the car. It should look fine on the car. Yes, it does look fine on the car. 
right? So blue is nothing, and pink is why is it pink? Why 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 is it pink? It's because it never reaches the the pure white color here, right? So we need to kind of give it a little bit of a a little bit help for it to reach the 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 the, the red color. Okay. So now that means that into the red layer, we can add the bitmap and we can add our dust speckles because that's the only part where the dust speckles are going to be. And is it crashing? Hello. Uh, immediately save the file. Um, so we get our speckles. That's good. And then the blue color is going to be just black. I know now you don't see anything. Just just bear with me because now we will just copy this and paste it in our helper. Paste as copy doesn't matter. Um, apply the selection, uh, apply to selection. And this is what we get. So there is distortion here. That's not a problem. Well, actually it is. Why is there distortion there? There was no distortion before. Why is there distortion now? Is it because of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's because of the texture. Duh, I, I forgot. That, that's because of the texture that we just literally inserted. So I need to wrap it in triplanar mapping and give it a, a, an actual size. So let's see, 500 mil. We'll start with 500 and we'll see how how well it looks. It looks fine. It looks okay. I can see the tiling though, uh, but it does look okay. The speckles start, you know, they, they, they start looking okay. Um, I think we need to make it smaller. Okay, so we don't need to make it smaller, but what we need to do is mess, uh, change the, the tiling. So those of you who are still watching, uh, here's a treat for you. So in V-Ray 5, if you go to, where is it? If you go to your texture, right, that you've added, and you go to texture placement, then here you can say that it's not 2D from UV channel, but it's rather from the mapping source. And then here for UV placement source, you click and choose UVW placement, right? So now you're here in the UVW placement editor, where you can say that it's randomized. And it's randomized, uh, it uses stochastic tiling for randomization, right? And immediately, there's no tiling anymore. You can even increase it further. Works works like a charm every time. Um, I will probably add it to, to a tutorial of some sorts later. Okay, so we have our dust. Uh, our dust map here. I will just copy it and paste it in my as my blend. Paste as copy as my blend right here. And let us check it out. Okay, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, car dust instead of red, please be whitish. Just be dusty. Mm hmm and actually for the dust I will say that opacity is actually lower like uh, 0 0.6 something around there let's turn on other two layers and just investigate what we what we have so far eventually it's gonna load up Oh, 
or not. Um, let me stop the render and uh, ask it nicely, please. Just work. Car paint, why are you not loading? How do you look like? Car paint, you look like that. Why don't I see you here? Car paint, don't don't be a dick. Oh, there is car paint there. It's, it's just the way we are looking at it. Uh, floor. Yeah, yeah okay, there, there is card, card paint there. Uh, let's just look at it as wall close-up then. Um, that, that, okay. Can't really see anything. Um, yeah, let's let's apply and render and see what what what's gonna happen. Okay. Okay, I think that's fine. Um, small steps, small steps. A little bit of dirt there, here and there. That's okay. Um, I think it's coffee time, right? And I'll leave this to, to render out. A bit a bit more nicely so let me just amp up the render output to 1080 uh, let me start a normal render let me say that yo i want you to render out or rather stop the normal render and let me say that i want you to render out yeah sure uh, this area right here. We'll zoom in and investigate what what it's you know how it looks like. Um, start the render. Okay. So it's gonna do the do the render bit a little bit. I'm gonna go and grab some coffee. Once it's done, we will continue on with the model. Add some wires there and call it finished. Well, kind of finished. You'll see. You'll see. For now, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you with this this some music here with some rendering here. Definitely will not show you my webcam as I'm doing the the whole coffee thing. Um, right, five minutes. It's a little bit in the way, isn't it? Five minutes and uh, we'll be back. Stay tuned.
Okay, we are back. Back, we are back. And the music is not playing. Oh well. Sucks. Okay, let's let's close that one up. There we go. Like that. Now I know how to read that Russian word. It's Privet. Hello. Hello. Um, right. So where are we right now with, with our model? Everything seems to be okay. Um, everything seems to be in order. Let's stop the render. Let's not let it render for anymore. Uh, we get some blinks here uh, from from the chips. We get some some nice curves. We get some dust build up on places in places. Uh, yeah, I think that. What the hell is that? That goes in. Yeah, whatever. We'll we'll figure that one out later. Um, yeah, I think that the quality is fine uh, for for what it is right now. Yeah, it it, it is very it is very, but uh, I'm just kind of building up the the layers uh, for 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 the material in very. Uh, so there's there's no no textures yet. Well, except for the dust, but I, I couldn't help myself. I wanted to add some texture to the dust. Other than that, we will be working on the V-Ray part of it in the next stream. For now, I'm going to hide the lights and kind of do some a little bit more modeling. Uh, just to finish up the 3D model and kind of call it call it finished for, for, what, for what it is, for the better or for worse. Um, so I do want some, some wires here. Probably tucked away here. Let's say uh, three, four wires, something like that. That that should should do the trick. Um, and then once once they are here, I think there is nothing else that I want to learn about sub D. I think everything that there is to learn, I have learned. In terms of tools, not in terms of topology and so on. That's that's for sure. But in terms of what's available in, in Rhino. Um, do I use graphics tablet to for for my work in Rhino? No, no. Uh, I do use a graphics tablet for my work in uh, in Blender though, but definitely not in Rhino. I don't know how to use it in Rhino. Well, that's fine. Um, I I do enjoy talking with the with the crowd, you know, it's okay to ask questions. Um, how do we do this? Do we just say that all of our wires come from here, from this polygon here, like that, and they roll over to this polygon right here? I think that that would look cool, right? The, a bigger question is, is it possible to insert them without messing up the topology too much? The answer to that is probably maybe, a <laughs> strong maybe. Um, let's try. So I'm going to... I'm going to say that there's going to be four wires, probably. Yeah, it's going to be four wires doing their thing here. Um, so I need I need these to become four rather than or eight rather than two. Let's see how we can do that. I think for now I'll just insert edge until until where until where that that's the. That's the question until where? Oh, it's a tricky one. Do we need to insert edge loops all the way through? Perhaps we do. 
Perhaps we do. And then the edge loops will need to be eaten somehow. Huh. Okay, that's that's gonna be a little bit of a of a gamble. To see if that's gonna work or not. So it catches quite a few edges. We will be eating them up probably in the bottom, right? Yeah, that makes sense to eat them up here. But I wonder how will that influence the division? Well, that's, there's only one way to find out, right? Just do it. Okay. From here to here. Uh, click, click. Insert edge. Yes, yes, that's the point. That's that's the uh, the idea that I'm gonna do this whole thing as one single single three D printable object. That's the dream. Um, insert edge again up until somewhere here. So one, two, insert edge, come on, come on, I knew you can do it, yep, there we go, one, two, three, insert edge, four. Time to see how how messed up the the form got. Actually, not that bad. It's kind of the same as it was before, right? A little bit more crisp, but that's fine. That's we can deal with that. Okay, so that was uh, the easy one. The hard one is going to be this. Let's see. Uh, we almost get the full. the full loop um, I think we'll manage I think we will manage okay because that can be kind of worked around with well it does move quite a bit which is a problem but I think, okay, let's try, insert edge. Let's try to insert it all the way to here. Tab. Okay, that, that didn't break anything. Oh, but it messes, messes up there, okay. Um, shit. Insert edge, let's see if there's like a Instead of absolute, let's use proportional insertion. And let's just try with somewhere, somewhere here. Tab. Not too bad. Not not too bad. It's it's okay. The kink there became really pronounced, but. I kind of dig it. I think that's fine. Sure. I really don't want to do this as the last thing. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, so we need one more here. One more here. Uh, yikes, yikes, yikes. Just hold up. Oh, come on. Come on, edges. Just ho hold it. Just hold it. One, two, three, four. Just, just hold it, please. Okay, last one. Uh, tab. 
seems to be okay. Well, we'll need to fix that, but other than that, seems to be okay. The topology is fine. So now we need to double click that and insert some more edges. The insert edge. Bam. Oh, no, messed, messed that one up. Insert edge right here. Insert edge right here. Insert edge right here. And insert the last one right here. Okay, so that's that will be fixed, of course. But it does seem to be, well, this, this is becoming a little bit too sharp. That's fine. We will, we will fix that uh, by just moving some, some points around. Um, so now we need to connect these on this side. So I'll just delete. I'll just, uh, where, where is it? Uh, sub the tools. I'll just create some faces. So that's a triangle. That's fine. Um, all other ones will be quads. Eh, not the cleanest connections, but that's fine as well. Okay, we have that. Join. Next song. Actually, <clears throat> that's a little bit, a little bit boring. Let's find a nice beat to to work on, um, or actually not not a beat. Let's go for uh, vocals, instrumental, genre. Uh, yeah, something like that. Something like that. Okay, so now this is cleaned up. <clears throat> Looks fine. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do the trick. Uh, everything else is okay. Uh, these, or, or rather, this, 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 and this need to move in. Need to get scaled down. Need to move in even further. Like that. Once we reflect it, it's gonna be fine gonna be smoother um, and then we have our, our little opening there that we can work on right there right right here so these four four polygons oh that's gonna be a toughie that's gonna be definitely a toughie hmm. Let's create some sockets in them. So this, 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 and that, as well as this, 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 and that, get an inset of 5 mil. Yep. And then they get an extrusion. Extrude. Sub D along the Z direction of uh, not a lot, 10 mil, like that. Then they get another another inset of again 5 mil like that and they get well these ones will get an extrusion 
Well, all of them get an extrusion, right? Yeah, all of them get an extrusion, except this edge. Why the hell is there an edge there? No, 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 no. you go away. These get an extrusion. Sub D along the Z direction minus uh, 40. I don't know, some number like that. So they get bumped out and then we will scale these down so that they are closer to being closer to being rectilinear and also flat like that something like this I think will will work and that will happen for every one of these that gets scaled down that gets pushed in That gets scaled down. That gets pushed in. Uh, closer. Rectilinear. Rectilinear. We want it to be rectilinear. Or cubic? Uh, no, not cubic. Square. We want it to be square. That's the word that I'm looking for. Square-ish. Don't need it to be pre super precise. Like this bad boy here. Could be a little bit more precise. Okay, we have that. We have that. And then same thing for these ones, but these ones are going to be a little bit more tricky to do. But I think we'll manage. Down to zero. Build down. Huh. That's weird. Shouldn't you be scaling down properly? Oh, okay, so got it. Scale uh, or scale 1D. They are at an angle, so we need to do this this way instead. Scale 1D. Scale down. Actually, let's do this uh, one step at a time. Like that. Like that. Scale 1D, from here to here, until here, here to here to here, perfect, and then here to here to here. Okay, so we have entrance, entrance holes for these guys, um, and now we need those entrance holes to be fit with the pipes. Uh, that's going to be a pain in the ass to do. But we will per persevere. We will manage. So I'm going to get an area centroid or, or a centroid for all of them. Like that. The midpoint of these lines that I'm drawing is going to be the midpoint of, of the faces. That's actually faster than just getting centroids out. Um, and just put a point there, a point there, point there, point there, point there, there, point there, point there. Okay. Uh, cell CRV, delete, get rid of the curves. Okay, so we have the points. Now I'm going to just make a line, straight line segment. Uh, that is, uh, let's say, 10 centimeters long. And rotate it 90 degrees. Move it to the first point. Like that. And then I just, I will just simply copy it to all other points. And that's going to be like the start of our pipes. Right. Right. Um, so our pipes will need to have a certain amount of tolerance. So we will move them down a bit. 
just a tiny bit. And now I can see that 10 centimeters is, is way too much. So let me um, cell CRV isolate like that. Uh, then grab all of them. F10 and move all of these up by let's say they're actually five centimeters long uh, five centimeters long show cell pt delete okay so we have our, our starting condition for the pipes and now all i need to do is figure out which one will connect to which so let's say this one connects to that this one connects to that uh, this one connects to that, and then this one connects to that. Right, so we have some crossing going on there. Um, I will then take all of these and rebuild them. Rebuild them every, uh, and, and I'll make everyone have like four points in total. Um, yeah degree of one that's fine something like this and now it's just moving the points around right to get the nice nice look so this is the <clears throat> the longest one so i'm just going to kind of move it out like that yeah this is a little bit shorter one, so I'm gonna just move it slightly down. <clears throat> All of them need, need, will need to move down, but something like that. Actually, that, that looks already fine. Um, these will need to move also down and maybe go out like so. Something like this. Um, and the last one, uh, this one, also moves moves down, of course. But this one goes in like this. So we have something like this going on. I'm not sure if I like it. Once it's smoothed out, it's going to look okay. Right now, it looks weird. Let's fix them once they are smoothed out. So, cell CRV, uh, explode. Um, can we do multiply for all of them at the same time? I think we can. Uh, sub D tools, multiply. And now pipe radius. Okay, so pipe radius is going to be a big, big thing. Um, let's do 15. Something like that. Scale wise, 15, I think, is fine. Doesn't look that nice, though. Maybe you want them to be a little bit more, a, bit, a little bit less wiry. Yeah, I want them to be a little bit less more, a little bit less wiry. Um, so we need to actually <clears throat> undo and explode, delete that. Actually, let's do something like this. Something like this instead. I don't like that. I don't like that as well. Hmm. 
Okay. What if we have them following the curvature of the bottom? Like that, that, uh, get rid of those. That gets deleted, but then they will kind of make a sharp turn. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe that's going to be fine. Uh, so we have that. Copy. So all of these get assembled like so. Then from here we have the the horizontal. The horizontal, I said the, the horizontal. Yeah, the horizontal lines, which are... Uh, Yep, <laughs> not not doing great, but uh, hmm. If that's a plane, can we make it into a plane then and project? I think we can. Or maybe. Hmm, maybe. Okay, so what if this first line is correct? First line does, does, does the thing. Actually, it intersects, huh? So we need to fix that. Um, how do we fix that? We just move it out. We just rotate it out. Rotate from here, from here. Um, let's say minus uh, 10 degrees, something like that. Okay. And that happens for every one of those. Minus 10. Minus 10. Minus 10. So all of them kind of move out and then 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 they move back in but they move back in at an angle and also this will need to be scaled uh scaled up until it kind of fits here it goes out too much i said minus 10 so back back to 10 uh, like that and this one back by five degrees actually Ooh, just little by little little by little so we have that that goes here then the last one up until here okay we have that and now for some connections, connection shenanigans. Yeah, that, that, that might look better. That might look better. We'll see. Um, sub D multi pipe. Nope, oh, there's no such thing. So we need to figure out how the tool is called sub D multi pipe. Oh, it's just multi-pipe, okay. Radius 15 was a bit too much, so let's try radius 10. Uh, that's gonna look like that, and it's going to sharpen out like that, which is fine. Okay. Um, one last try, so a curve. Uh, multi-pipe 10 was fine uh, cap ends off uh, straight divisions 2 yeah that's that's good that's good okay so CRV enter delete okay so we have this going on and we can kind of work with this so that 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 and that get deleted
And then they will get lofted. Is it possible to bridge these? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, one segment. Yeah. Um, ba -bum. Everything turned red. Uh, actually, let's let's make it not red. <laughs> A little bit in the way. Um, bridge. Okay. Why do you keep turning on the fucking filter? I don't understand. None. Okay. Maybe that's gonna help. If I manage to select this a, a, a surface right now. Oh, not a surface, an edge. Just breathe. Just breathe. Bridge. Uh, yo, what's up? <laughs> Bridge. Okay. Yep. They bridge exactly like you want them to. Like, the, this is like a rubber, rubber hose type of a thing. That's good. Yikes, that, that, that selection though, um, bridge, okay, that's good, and now here as well, bridge, So close. I, I can feel it. I can feel it. Bridge. Okay. Ah, last one. <laughs> last one is not cooperating. Cooperate. There we go. There we go. Tab. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I don't mind the way the, the, the way it looks. I think we can we can kinda reduce the twisting by rotating these. A little bit like the, these cross sections just a tiny bit like I'm, I'm just giving it uh, minus 10 minus 15 uh, minus 10 minus 5 uh, degrees these ones hmm these ones are clockwise so that's gonna be 10 and yeah, that's better it's gonna be 10 that's gonna be 10 it's gonna be 10 okay Ooh, last one shouldn't have happened last one is actually counterclockwise right yeah for some reason minus 10 Okay, twisty, twisty, bendy, bendy. Seems to be okay. So now the main question is, do we sharpen this? I think we do. I think we do. We will bevel that and just give it a, li a little bit of, of a kink here. So that they are a little bit stiffer in that regard. Um, right. So we have our 
<laughs> a little bit of piping done. I wonder if the piping should be protected more. Maybe we protect it a bit more. Let's see. Let's see how it's gonna how it's gonna look like. If we just kind of casually, um, please work. Bam, 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 bam. Bam. If we just take these uh, these faces here and we extrude them along the z direction minus uh, 250. That's uh, maybe a little bit too much. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Maybe 250 was a bit too much. That's fine, we can just always move them back. Do something like this. Right. And that's a bit of protection. Um, there is that edge there that I wanna 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 take a look at. Um, this edge should slide. Uh, just give me, just give me that edge. Oh my God, I can't see anything. <laughs> um, okay, along this line, move from here to here. That's better. That is better. And then we will actually, we will stitch. Stitch these two faces together like so. We will take this point and actually move it out a bit. As long as it snaps to the correct position. Like that. Okay, that's 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 better. Oh, hello back to China. Hello back to China. It's cool to, to, to have viewers from, from China as well. Stitch to here. Like that. That's good. And then one last thing is adding, or not adding, but rather reducing thickness to this. Come on. There we go. We have it. We just move it in. Just like that. Bam. Hmm. Kinda wanna bevel. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're a mess. You are a mess. Also kinda wanna bevel that one. Okay, so now you're not a mess anymore. Do we still want to bevel you? Yeah, yeah. Bevel, uh, five mil. Mm -hmm. And this also, bevel, uh, two mil. Okay, that's good, that's fine. And this, um, these two, bevel, or actually I don't need to bevel that, but I do need to bevel this, bevel, two mil, okay. Just some sharpening going on there so now let's see um do we do we want to change anything here <clears throat> this area right here 
I think we can lift this, right? Do something like that. Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> that's better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Run some emap on it. Uh, check out uh, if, if there's any any mistakes. Oh right, right. The, the the bottom, the bottom. So here we need to. Here we need to fix it. Okay. Um, there's gonna be some stitching. Definitely some stitching involved in here. So you and you get stitched together into one polygon. You and you get stitched to an average and you get stitched to there. Uh, like that. That's a bit better. And then this, this is a question mark, but I think, bam, bam. I think we can just take this, well, without a point, insert edge, move that edge to here. Uh, that doesn't work. Oh, wait, it does, it does. Ah, crap, it does, it does work. Insert edge to here, something like that. These two get stitched like that. And this and this get stitched right there. And just to be clean, just let's move it there. Okay, so that's good enough good enough of a of a termination i think could be better but uh i'm learning i'm still learning okay are we done i think we're done i think we are done um let me grab the how is it called Reflect, reflect, reflect uh, this side. Oh my god, no, no, no. Again, <laughs> reflect x axis, this side automatic. Like that. Hit tab, grab the e map, and take a look at it. I ain't gonna lie, I don't like the pipes. I don't like these pipes. Let's get rid of them. I think they they, they get they, they make the design a little bit too convoluted. I know I spend a lot of time on them, but uh, I just don't like them. So instead, what we're gonna do What are we gonna do? Well, first let's get rid of the pipes and see how, how it looks like without them. <laughs> um, is there a fast way of doing this? Like deleting that? No, that's, that's bad. That's not a fast way of doing it. Um, Is there like delete? Um, no. 
I just need to separate them, right? I just need to separate them and then it's gonna work. Um, so how do we separate them? Is there like sep... Uh, right? No. Um, is there like extract... Sub D... Just extract sub D curve. Extract face, maybe. Extract mesh faces only. Uh, merge faces, that's that's just merging, append, fill, uh, repair. Will we really need to do this manually? I don't want to do this manually, but I guess we will need to do this manually, huh? Smooth join. Ah, oh, fine. So that, that part I want to keep, but I don't want to see these. I'm just going to delete. There we go. So we just delete them. Uh huh. Okay. That's, that's gonna, that's gonna work, work out. That's gonna work out. Okay. So I, all I need to do is just uh, select the faces here and what's what would be a fast way of doing it I don't know I'll just do it manually bam bam delete okay bam bam delete uh, so those two are deleted now bam bam uh, this is what you need to do in the design, actually. Like, w when you're designing stuff, uh, it doesn't matter how much time you spent on it, um, on, on, on a part. If it just doesn't work visually, it doesn't work visually, right? You, you get rid of it. You, you don't... You, you never say, oh, I spent so much time on it. I might as well keep it. Get rid of it. It's called killing your darlings. And it's it's a good thing to do from time to time. Oh my god, that's even though it's it's kind of painful. Because you know, I spent some so much time modeling it, and now I need to spend almost the same amount of time deleting it from the model. Okay, so we have that done, and now it should be smooth sailing or not. Delete. 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 Uh, then you delete. Can't separate parts, by the way. Oh, what the hell is going on here? That's weird. That's a weird edge loop right there. That's for sure. Uh, delete that. Delete that. Possible to... Well, actually, let's... Let's find a, a loop. There we go. Oh, there's still some stuff left there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh, come on. That, that, delete. <sighs> Last one. Yep. That's perfect. And then that delete. Oh, and 
those two last polygons there are just doing their thing and get rid of them. Okay, so we have that done and now we have some openings here that we need to fix. Um, so let's think, what can we do with those openings? Because everything else, I think that looks fine. Ish, kind of. Does that look fine? That looks fine, right? I think that looks fine. Maybe it could be a little less intense here. So it could move up a bit. Something like that. And that edge could move up now as well. Something like that, so that there's this kind of hiccup going on there. Or do we, maybe we don't want the hiccup to happen. Nah, maybe we don't want the hiccup to happen, so I'll just move vertical this snap to here. Not sure if it snapped, seems like it snapped. And then these faces here. Apparently I can't select the face. And also this chamfer here. Move vertical from that point to here. That's horizontal now. Then it makes a bend. And that's fine. Okay, so now these guys. Um, I'm thinking of keeping them actually. I like that. Uh, the only thing that I'm going to do is, of course, I will uh, select all of these. Is there like a fill... Uh, fill, 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 sub the hole. Bam. Oh. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Just fill up those holes. Bam. Okay, enter. Enter. Okay. And then we... Then we... Will inset... Uh, by uh, 2 mil. Pretty sharp inset. So we end up with something like that. I think that's look that looks fine. It's, it's like a hidden treat, right? <laughs> it, sh it should look fine. Um, I don't like the softness of this edge though. So I'm going to well, it is soft here, but I'm going to chamfer this this whole perimeter, or or not the whole perimeter, but rather from this edge up until the back there. I want these to be chamfered, uh, beveled. 24 hours of me modeling and I still call it chamfer. Um, actually that can be soft. That's fine. Uh, bevel. Of uh, probably 5 millimeters, right? A5 seems okay. Double checking if it broke or not, it didn't. And now we get a slightly sharper edge there. Which is nice. I think we're done. Boys and girls, I think we are done. It's been a... Been one heck of a journey. Oh yeah, we need to reflect. Reflect, ex remove existing geometry, reflect again, x-axis, uh, keep the left-hand side always automatic. I think we are done. With the car. 
Mm. Let's render it out. Oh well, no, 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 no. I need to stop. I need <laughs> congrats. Thanks. I need to stop. I I, I need to end the stream. <laughs> Because uh, I could just keep going, but now I'm just looking at the freaking time and it's 7 o'clock and uh, I need to eat and I need to rest. Um, we have it done. I will be 3D, like next stream, I will be rendering it. I'll be 3D printing it and maybe even hand painting it or probably I'll split it into two streams. Uh, we will have a giveaway for, for this. My wife is in the chat. Hello, wife. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. <laughs> um, I lost my thought now when I when I saw my my, my wife. <laughs> um, just a quick render before going. Uh, sure. Sure. Let's 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 do a quick one. Uh, just with, I will not add any any more materials to it. I'll, I'll just kind of render it out as it is. Uh, maybe add a ground plane though, uh, ju just so that there there's something there's something for it to catch catch on to. Uh, that's good enough. Like that, and uh, I'll just. Materials, uh, generic uh, ground will be black. Spike. <laughs> Gr ground will be black with some color, uh, with some reflection, uh, with some glossiness. That should be fine. That 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 should be an okay ground. Um, let's run a quick interactive render to just find uh... <laughs> you yeah that's that that might be true that might be true um let's just see whoa where, where's the material hello no no no, no. I, I want the material there we go so that's with the material and let's find a, a nice angle can't see anything. Oh, right, I was zoomed in. Do we do a close up? Nah, let's do a close up shot. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's gonna be fine. Um, sh should look okay. Or maybe from higher up. Maybe from higher up. Yeah, that's nicer. That that's that's a nicer look. Uh, I set view. Zoom out just a tiny bit. I will get some blink from the from the light, but that's fine. Um, Right, let's let's hit it with a final render type of a thing. So not interactive, uh, quality medium. Sure, I'm I'm okay with medium quality for this. Uh, 90, 20, 10, 80 camera, whatever. Actually, let's do 720. It's gonna be faster. Um, bah. I don't want to change anything. Let's just hit it. Um, right. So that's the car. With some dust and, and whatnot. You'll see once when once it starts properly rendering out. Um, right. Plans, plans. What what we're gonna do next? Uh, so now once we kind of see the 
I'm, I'm using V-Ray 5. Uh, now, once, once we see how the car looks like, I'm going to get going. Um, next stream, uh, 3D printing plus actually working on the render, because right now the render is, you know, it's, it's a single material. Um, and actually, I'll start writing for the Patreon supporters and for the members of, of, on YouTube. I'll, I'll start writing, uh, asking for, for them to um, write if, if they want to participate in the raffle of me giving, giving away uh, 3D printed, 3D printed models of, of, of this car. So that's going to be fun. What else? Ah, that, that's about it. That's about what everything that I've I planned on. Um, some thoughts on on the modeling process of of the car itself. Um, compared to v, uh, compared to Blender, this is a little bit clanky still. Like there there are many many tools that just don't snap properly that. Um, that don't work that that well, or rather, the user experience is not that great. Maybe they work as expected, as as planned, but the user experience is not that that good. What the hell is going on there? Ah. That's a little bit too wide. Think about that. Um, but it's getting there. This is definitely usable, right? You can do a car, and you can do a car that looks like a hard surface model rather than a sub-D model. Because usually when you see sub-D stuff, it's usually just a, a whatchamacallit. Um, it's usually just a blob, right? I should export it into Blender, why? For, for, for what reason? It would be weird to like uh, to to spend so much time in in Rhino and then just export it into Blender and get um, lose all of the CAD information that's incorporated into the sub D model because this is not this is not a mesh right that that's the important part about uh, sub D modeling in in Rhino is that you're not getting a mesh out of it rather you're getting a CAD model which has infinite precision, infinite resolution. So in doing so, you, you can like create I I insane booleans and so on. Is there a free version of Rhino? There is a 90 day trial for Rhino that uh, has full functionality, like completely full functionality. Uh, so you can just Got it. Test it out for 90 days, which is kind of three months. It's a long time. And then if you like it, you just buy it. If you don't, you don't. Um, what else? I don't know. It seems like uh, the, the foundation for this... Uh, let me move away the mouse. The foundation for uh, modeling in, in, in Rhino with, with sub D is there for sure, but just stuff like when I extrude, it really wants to show me all of the edges of my sub D geometry. Uh, that kind of stuff really doesn't work uh, like visually and then uh, from user, experience, user standpoint, it doesn't work. Oh, we can even see chips there. That's nice. Um, totally off topic here. Uh, I'm starting to learn Grasshopper th through the AAD book. Yeah, I've almost finished it. Where should I go next? Because I think it's just giving me sort of the basics in every topic. Um, either do a competition and force yourself to work with Grasshopper in some part of that competition. Um, because that's, that's the fast, fastest way of how to learn, is by 
solving problems by doing them. Uh, you can check out my uh, tutorials on, uh, on Grasshopper. They are a little bit more advanced than what you would uh, usually see um, on, on YouTube and whatnot. Might be something interesting. And also, uh, my tutorials tend to be made in parts. Uh, so we build up bigger projects in that regard. Um, other than that, like with Grasshopper, you do need a project for you to, um, to focus on when you're working in Grasshopper. Um, just sitting down and kind of learning Grasshopper is super boring. Because you kind of, okay, now I'm going to learn Kangaroo. You know, so you, what? You, you just sit down and, and push, uh, like, simulate vertices the whole day. But if you need to simulate a tent for a project, suddenly it becomes interesting, right? Uh, so that's my suggestion. Um, everything's usually blobby in sub D, but I think it has improved. Yes, uh, sub D, well, of course, sub D is subdivision based, right? So it, it's Catmull Clark subdivision, basically. So of course it's blobby. It, 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 it tries to be, become blobby. So the only way of how you make it not blobby is you tie in the, the edges together, right? And that's why I kept, keep using inset, keep using bevel, keep using that, that kind of stuff, is to, um, to force sub D to only smooth out the, the parts that I want. There's an alternative to that, which is creases. So you can add a crease to your geometry. Uh, but personally, I dislike creases because they are infinitely sharp. Um, and stuff that's infinitely sharp is immediately a question mark in terms of um, realism, I guess. Right? Be because uh, you never have those infinitely sharp corners. Right now here, um, the corners that I have, right, they, they are not sharp. They, they are kind of like filleted. Um, if I, and, and I did them purposely like so for, for 3D printing purposes, right? Um, so, so the gaps are a little bit bigger than they should be and everything is a little bit, a little bit more chunky than, than, than it should be. But um, if I were to do this for production, well, first of all, I wouldn't use Rhino. Uh, and before anyone says it, I wouldn't use Blender as well. <laughs> I would use Alias or Katya for, for that. Um, so where was I going with this? Oh, right, the creases, right? So I, I tried not to use, use creases, instead just doing double edge to, to define uh, sharper edges. I, I think that's, that's a better better way of working with it, because then you get this nice bling. Yeah, yeah, j just like you said, so n nothing is that sharp with, with the crease. Actually, that, that material turned out quite, quite nice. You know, the, the flaky material that we did, it turned out quite, quite cool. Um, and Near, near the wheels and also kind of give, gives a little bit more bling to the overall overall car, right? Um, the dust could be more, the dust buildup could be a little bit more, but that's fine. The dirt is almost not existing, non-existing, so I'll need to work on the dirt a little bit more in the next, next tutorial. I don't like this. I don't like that part this this part here is weird it's too big hmm what can we do with it what can we do with it oh p -p 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 Stop, 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 stop. Um, let's see. Ah. Uh-huh. Hmm. 
Will I be breaking the model up into separate textures from this whole model, or is it model already separated into separate parts for the V-Ray materials? Um, I don't know. Maybe for rendering, make a event. Maybe. Uh, maybe we can try doing that. I don't know. For, for V-Ray... Uh, I'll probably separate the model rather than uh, <clears throat> rather than uh, wrap it with multiple textures. Uh, but I haven't done it done that now. Um, yeah, that huh? Make event. Sure. Um, sub D uh, inset uh, enter from yeah there we go that that's the stuff that I hate the, the this amount of of shit on on my screen when I try to just kind of inset three faces um, let's try uh, ten ten mil like that. Mm, 10 is a little bit much, isn't it? 10 is a little bit much. Uh, or not 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 enough. <laughs> that's that's what I wanted to see. Not enough. Uh, so let me do god damn it. Bam bam bam. Sub D inset. Um, let's try 20 or even 30 let's try 30 enter to continue yeah 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 uh there we go with the freaking wireframe again uh 30 enter enter okay uh that and now extrude sub d minus 20 like that, that moves in, and that will also need to move in like so. Well, actually, that that edge shouldn't. That edge shouldn't. That should, edge should stay as it is, like that. Okay, so now we have something like this, which looks horrible. Um, can we make it better though? So here, <clears throat> any advice for a YouTube channel? Uh, make videos. Do uh, do videos that you like. That's that's for sure. That you enjoy doing. Other than that, nope, no advice. Gotta keep the comp competition in check, you know. Can't give advice to competition. <laughs> oh man. Let's see what we can do with this. If we have, if, if we have that going on, what the hell is that, by the way? Are we not? I hope we're not messing it up. No, we're not. We're not. We're still, we're still fine. We're still fine. So that, and then these two can get extruded um, in Z by minus ten. Okay. Uh, let's try again. Extrude sub D. Z minus 10. Okay. <clears throat> that. We have like a stepped situation going on. And then last. Okay, battery is dead. Oh my god. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh, it's actually probably a time. It means that it's time to leave, right? Or does it? Or do we just change the battery and keep going? Do we just keep going? 
maybe we keep going. Or not. Oh, never mind. It's alive. Okay. So, this. Uh, vent, vent, vent. Not gonna be enough clearance, though. Wait. Yeah, that's gonna be enough clearance. Okay. So we can make a vent here. Um, inset? Or do we even not inset? No, we do inset. Inset? Um, or, hmm. Sub D inset. Mm -hmm. Enter to continue. Uh, this time only five mil. Um, that looks okay. Which means that we can. Can we extrude it even further? I think we should, right? I think we should. So we extrude sub D minus 10 again, like that. Wait, it didn't inset. <sighs> sub D inset. Group mode. From, uh, doesn't matter from where, from, yeah, sure, from, from that point, inwards, 5. Click. There we go. Now, extrude, sub D, uh, minus 10. Okay. Grab that edge and probably just move that edge in. Like so. All right. Yeah, I, I think I think that's gonna that's gonna do the trick. So now I uh, just need to move vertical um, that point to here. Move vertical that point to here, um, and then to flatten out this edge. Bam, zero, like that. All right. So we get something like this going on. Yeah, why not? Why not? Looks better. Looks a bit better. And now let's sharpen everything out like crazy. So that, that. Um, pff, I'm selected. <laughs> you came with it, girl. Um, that, oh, that's going to be a lot of low disk space. No, close my recordings, my freaking recordings. Some selected. I'm trying. I'm just trying my best. Um, that edge, that edge and that edge. So hopefully that's an edge chain. Looks like an edge chain at least. Um, these. And then, so these will get a bevel. And then that definitely needs, it will need a bevel. That will not, but that one will. And that one will. And uh, what, oh, that's, that's a, that's a little bit of a yikes, or maybe not. We'll see. Uh, so that's a bevel. Actually, let's keep going. That that needs a bevel. That needs a bevel. Um, and that corner will need a bevel. I think that's that's about it. Uh, do we want to bevel the inside? We do, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay, so. Actually, that will also need a bevel. Okay. 
Bevel. <clears throat> Question now, how much? Uh, three. Let's go three mil. Tab. Everything got sharpened out. Breaks here, breaks there. Doesn't, uh, also breaks in the top. Yep, sounds about right. That's good. That's not. That doesn't bevel that well, huh? Wonder why. Wait, where does this point go? Oh, this point goes underneath. Oh, it goes here. Holy crap. That's that's a long way for it to, to go. Okay. Um, double that. Five. Tab. Okay, that's fixed now. That works. So that means here we can also get away with it by just beveling that. Uh, three. A little bit of a crease. Oh, but that crease can be delete. And let's just grab some, uh, like, let's just grab a face here. Bam. Join. Okay. Now, no, uh, still a crease though. Why is there still a crease? Oh, that's because of all of these triangles here, huh? Well, there's no way for me to fix those. I'll just say it's fine. Is there a crease here, though? A little bit, but not that intense. Actually, we can just get, get rid of this then. Um, uh, completely brand new to sub D modeling. Um, I'm just a CAD modeler. My training is in CAD and I have, most of the time I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing with sub-D modeling. <laughs> so that's fun. Um, bevel. We cry now. This is where we cry. This is where we cry. Restart your computer. Okay. Out of memory. There's still plenty of memory here. Google Docs offline. I was screwed over by Google Docs. Of all of the... Of all of the things. The Google Docs that got me in the end. Huh. That kind of sucks. What do we do? Well, we need to hit OK, that's that's for sure. Uh, we need to see how much could it save with the crash. I need to buy. <laughs> I forgot to buy uh, Rhino. I need to buy Rhino. Well, this uh, version 7 of Rhino. Um, Oh boy, oh man, oh boy, oh man. So this is the autosave file, right? Right? Let's see. Oh. Shit. Okay. So maybe it's not the autosave file. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see where we could find it. 
Um, let me just search for it real fast. But my file size is literally... Wait. I think my file size is below one megabyte. Wait, let me check. Let, 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 let me check. Um, da, 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 stuff. Uh, no, it's, it's right here. Uh, properties. Okay, my file size is three megabytes. I don't think that's the problem. I don't think that is the problem at all. Um, did it say where it saved the file? Do I need to check the the stream feedback thingy? Um, bum, bum, bum. Wait. Ah, oh, crap. This is this is gonna be not that great okay uh, current model is going to be saved on my desktop as rhino emergency save yep there is no file like that on my desktop oh never mind there is okay let's open it Jesus. Okay, Rhino. Okay, Rhino. I, uh, okay, Rhino. Mm, we immediately save it. We immediately save it as uh, car. That that's nice. Twenty uh, fourth. And then we investigate what the hell is going on with my computer computer and first question is how's my disk drive still have 18 gigs left on my disk drive which is not a lot but it's fine um that's weird anyway let let's continue let's continue working on this and see if it's gonna break anymore that so this is sharpened that that works so that this is not so let's try bevel five okay that's all it please bevel no wait. wrong or or, or wait where, where did it break yeah, it's it's breaking there, isn't it? Um, so right, so so here, um, bevel. Yeah, sure. Something like that. Tab. Okay, that's not breaking anymore. And then the last little thing is right here. Bevel five. A little bit aggressive, um, design-wise. But I, <sighs> okay, webcam is being a dick now. <laughs> I was such a ghetto stream. Um, last, reflect, x-axis, this side, oh, automatic snapping, emap, yeah, I think that's fine, oh, you don't see me, okay, you don't see me. What about now? I'm gonna call it a day.
I spent way too much time on this today, uh, but it is finally done. Now I am happy with this and I can, t I can say that the model is finished and the topology is fine and uh, it's an open sub-D. <laughs> it's not a closed sub-D. Uh, duplicate border, zoom selected. Which part is messed up? It's that part. Um, and why is it messed up? It's messed up because of this. We hit tab and we see that, oh boy. Oh, actually, no, that's, that's an easy fix. Stitch. You hear? Yeah? And these need to be stitched together, right? Um, so we will instead do something like this to it. Uh, bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Join. Okay. Reflect. X-axis. This side to keep. Closed, okay. Closed sub the object. Single closed sub the object. 3D printable. Well, in theory at least. We're happy. We are happy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the stream here. Um, seems to be a pretty pretty decent decent model happy with it hope you enjoyed the stream i'll upload of course the i'll actually condense all of the all of the things into one video and upload it uh so that you don't need to uh keep kind of watching through the freaking eight hour stream that i did or or whatever it is five hours six hours i don't know um I can sub a surface so that I can have equal vertices to stitch. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know, I know. But uh, when you subdivide a surface, it creates n-gons all around that surface, and I don't, I hate n-gons. So I try not to, not to subdivide a, a face, so to say. Anyway, I'm done. Oh, cool. The webcam died. That's good. That that means it's time to end the stream. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye. 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 Bye.